said, we are live. She said live, but it didn't change. Yeah. Well, you look at, dude, look at today's view. I can't even. Can you just, look at this? They're everywhere. They are literally. There is this X Men absolutely it's, everywhere. Uh, it's it's been an ordeal trying to get all this. So together. so Professor Xavier's home for wayward mutants has exploded here at Farpoint, and like Justin, I just want to say I have two things I really want to say this week. Thing thing one is that my husband Justin, uh, one of the three owners of Farpoint Toys and Collectibles who I am the second and Frank is the third, has really, has really, really, like, stepped up. This week, he was just, like, so, like, today especially, he was just, like, so on. So I just want to say, Justin, thank you so much for all the hard work that you've done today. And I'm sure our VIPs appreciate it because they snagged up so much stuff. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself because there might be some new people watching that don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Um, Are there yeah. new people? So uh, keep going with this whole yeah. The first thing, uh, Justin thing. <laughs> the first thing I want to say is that Justin really killed it today. He's been really like stressed out and everything, just because we're opening soon. Like there's still a lot to do, but today he really he really killed it. Uh, as you can see by the you're dropping investment. all kinds of bombs here. Like you, you mentioned opening soon. You mentioned VIPs. Yeah. First of all, hi. Right. Not. Well, I guess not. First of all. First of all, was like yeah. talking about how great I am. Uh, <laughs> second of all, hi. I am Justin, the person she's talking about. My wife Penelope. Uh, you know, we're two thirds of Farpoint Toys and Collectibles. I know I am your wife, but when you introduce me as your wife, my partner, I feel somehow my boss, I feel my dream girl. I feel slightly my Emzadi. I feel slightly diminished. My uh, my my other self, my all, my all, my other self. Okay, Gary Oldman, my angel, my all, my other self. <laughs> Did you cross? Oceans I have crossed time? It's two different movies, but we basically is Beethoven and Dragon Dracula. So they're all the same thing. So uh, <laughs> hi. This is how uh, this is how our claim sale works. We just talk and maybe we sell stuff. It's just the way it is. Well, what's great? And again, I'm gonna interrupt you. Jack wants to know if I enjoyed Snake Eyes. Maybe we'll get to that. Um, our our VIPs grabbed. Uh, what's great about Burger Town is that it almost. I don't want to say that it, the buying of things is inconsequential. You talk. I'm gonna actually check the VIP group. Yeah, I not that the buying of things. Tom here Police, what's up, my man? Is inconsequential. But because of our VIPs, and the link is right above Justin's head if you'd like to become a VIP, our VIPs claim so much stuff pre preclaimed because they get a sneak peek every Sunday um, of everything. They preclaim so much stuff that, like, you know, we can just like talk. Well, and I had chill. to clear the back. <laughs> I had to clear things and then put things back. But yeah. um, well, no, that's good, and it's awesome that our VIPs did that. They must have claimed thirty or more figures. A lot. Uh, more because one I'm lot actually was checking to me. I had to ask some people some questions. Yeah, and I'm going to check. We usually cut it at four, but you know, it's been uh, it's been, been yeah, it's been it's been a little hectic. It's I need Penelope to hear from your Alex. Variant. No, I am no one's variant. It's so funny that oh everyone's my God. like that's funny. Maybe she the Alfred this. to your Batman. See, this is what I'm talking about. Someone called me your sidekick. Someone called me the Alfred to your Batman. I am the sidekick. That that's not well. No. I mean, if if there was Alfred to Batman, you'd be Alfred. I'd be Batman. We are no. We're yeah, well, equal. he's like the uh, the home base. Shut up. We're equal, equal, and that's why, like, when you just say, oh, I'm my wife, it makes me feel like I'm just your wife. Like, I also own this business. Like, I'm not just, like, the cute girl outside waiting or whatever. Um, no, we're not Logan and Weapon X. See, this is the kind of stuff, like, just because I'm shorter than him doesn't mean that I'm not equally equal. Um, it's so weird. Like, well, who's equal? Like, who are equal people? Then you be Weapon X and I'll be, I'll be X-23. Like, you're, you're just being so... No, it just doesn't... Those aren't equal, equal. Okay. Listen, Alfred. <laughs> I'm not Alfred. Um, this is a live claim sale where we're going to have a fight. This is a live disaster. I'm going to hurt my leg again. <laughs> um, our VIPs, we have a VIP group because we have a Patreon. Yeah, it's and, right above um, Justin's head. You can see it there. Yeah, right here. And uh, because because they uh, support our Patreon, they have access to a group. See, Lenny, you're they not, you're not helping. First. Hall and Oates. All right, that's a little better. Okay, I'll be I'll be John Oates. You be the one who's better on guitar and I'll be the... The better singer? Sure. So, um, <laughs> thank you, Chris. I like that. There are different tiers of our VIP group. Yeah, uh, but there the are. initial tier is only five bucks. You get to be in a group and you get to do early claims. Yeah, which uh, which That's one of they the take many of. one of the many perks. Yep. Yeah. So, at the um, level. um, I feel like I'm not having a good. You early. mentioned opening again soon. I did. We've been doing this for 71 weeks in a row. Yes. That's, That's a lot sad of weeks. and exciting and awesome and <laughs> terrifying and uh, I can't believe we found enough stuff to do this seventy one weeks in a row. Well, some weeks we didn't, and we just kind of we made just do. sat on the shore of Lake Superior um, and talked. So Penelope is rogue and Justin is Gambit. Oh, share. Sure. I'm down with that. <laughs> if I touch you, I suck all the life out of you. That sounds about right. Okay. Yeah. I had another thing I wanted to say, but should we like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um. Okay. 
<laughs> we uh, we are actually a brick and mortar store here in southern New Jersey, Mays Landing. Wait, we're a brick and mortar. We're supposed to be open. We haven't been open uh, since last March. Yeah, last March, twenty twenty. Yeah, uh, you know, pandemics and fires and frogs and and oh possums but and frogs lions and tigers now. and bears. None of that. A lot happened between then and now. We've been closed. Yeah. Uh, but we are reopening. Yeah. And uh, August fourth, yeah. Saturday. Okay, except you mean September. 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 If we were 4th, opening August fourth, I'd be literally, ripping the hair out of my head. I'd literally slit my wrists. Literally, oh. I'm getting there. So uh, we're having a grand <laughs> opening, and along with our grand opening, we're having the original uh, and best free to vend, free to yes. attend, often imitated toy show, often imitated, never duplicated. Well, it's a great idea Frank had, and people love running with it, and yeah. that's fine. It's not like... He, I'm sure he couldn't have been the first person alive. I, I wish they would say, like, the Frank Mazentoff invented... <laughs> memorial. Memorial. He gets, uh, like, a $5 kickback right. every time someone well, We don't charge for it, though. Although there is a lot of overhead this year because insurance and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so that, that's something else I was going to talk about yeah. a little later in the stream. Our costs for our free toy show have gone up exponentially, exponentially this yeah. year. Um, because we're now being charged for insurance. Lenny, um, we'll, may, yeah. we will have you in here cleaning glass <laughs> at some point. We appreciate oh, yes. it. we got to get things in order. Casper, this store is actually made of bricks. It's funny that you mentioned it. It is. It's, and mortar, probably. Mm -hmm. There's probably mortar. I would hope so. And I mean that quite literally, because this used to be a fireplace store for 40 years before we opened as a toy store. And they would do demonstration Chris fireplaces. Wild. All my friends are here. All our friends are here. They would do demonstration fireplaces throughout the entire building. Yeah. So there are literally bricks. Oh, there's definitely... And literally mortar. And literally mortar. Yeah. So um, <laughs> this is a claim sale, live claim sale. It where, is. Whereas we will... Uh, for instance, I will pick up Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. So today is all Toy Biz. It's all X-Men. X-Men, X-Force, yeah. villains, evil mutants, yeah, all... Everybody. There's no Fantastic Four. There's no Iron Man. We do have that, but there's too much of it. So this today we are focusing on X-Men. X-Men. Uh, for the most part, the cards and bubbles are all gorgeous, almost case fresh. Some of them do have price original price tags yeah, on them. Yeah, some of them have a lot of KB price tags. This KB. collector was I insane. saw Bradley's. I saw KB and Bradley's. Let me see that list. There is you a list. This. It's 133 different boxes and tubs and containers just full of all kinds of amazing and it's all 90s yeah all 90s and a lot of it 90% case fresh I would say to quote all this stuff. one of my favorite movies The List is Life this list uh, tells what case what yes what case or box has what in it yes so we're talking not today but uh, box AF001 has real monsters in it ah carded real monsters ah real and it tells monsters. me how many real monsters a <laughs> AF002 has Alien Predator Kenner in it. Got some G.I. Um, Joe? G.I. Joe. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff, but today okay. we focus on the X-Men boxes because okay. there's a lot of it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll hold up an item. Well, no, actually, hold on. We focused on X-Men because that's what our VIPs voted on. Oh, yeah, they did vote. So if you're not a VIP, you didn't get a say in what we're selling this week. Somebody said, ooh, AVP. If you were a, a, a VIP, you would. I almost said if you were an AVP. If you were a VIP, you, you actually got a physical, actual vote. And your vote counted. It did. Yeah. It was neck and neck with Star Trek. It was Trek neck and neck with Star Trek. Um, are we going to do X Men again next week, or are we going to do Star Trek? Well, it depends on how we deal with X Men this week. Yeah. My goal is to sell uh, one hundred of these individually carded X Men because that gets to a number. Yeah. That we're, we we paid a lot. For. This collection is twenty six hundred piece individual pieces. Twenty eight. Twenty eight hundred <laughs> individual pieces. We paid a plus. lot of money for this collection. Yeah. Um. So uh, this, you know, we got to get back out of that, and uh, this is a great collection. Being that it's all mint on carb, for the launch of our new online store. Yes. So there's a lot of things to talk about. We are in the process, and when I say we, I mean mostly me, um, because that's we each have our own like like thing. Yeah. Like he's out here sweating with the X Men. I'm in the back room. It's like Batman and Alfred. No. It's like Robin and Alfred. Neither one of us is Batman. Well, Frank's not Batman. Frank's not Batman. I'll be Batman. So this is like, so, okay, there's a picture. I'll be the stop. There's a picture of General Zod with his two lieutenants. Yes. And Justin thinks that he's Zod and me and Frank are his lieutenants. No, I, I think I'm the big bullshit. dumb guy. That's bullshit. I think he's Frank a, could be Zod. I think be he's Zod. a big dumb guy, too. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I forget his name. Big dumb guy. Carl General. or something. Carl? Carl L? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, the way a claim sale works, this is what this is. It's not just a talk. Uh, I will hold up an item. Or I will. Like night, or Penelope will. I mean, if uh, Batman like, wants to do all the work, I guess he like can. Like Nightcrawler. We will describe it. <laughs> well, the description is going to be basically a beautiful card, nice bubble, uh, price tag. I just realized the van is gone from outside. And we'll say a price. And uh, once we say the price, what I was doing. 
the first person to claim underneath it. Well, here's a good thing about that. Uh, we have multiples. So if That's I actually, say Nightcrawler, yeah. and really it's the first three people to claim, there are three Nightcrawlers. So if I say a price on Nightcrawler, once I say the price, the first person <laughs> and second person and third person because of this, we see that it says claim Nightcrawler, claim Bamf. Abbott and Costello. Claim, I, like, I like the way you're whatever. thinking. Hey, I'm, Bamf. I'm a Bamf. So, I'm a Bamf. Uh, without Bamf, further ado, the first the first names we see claim it on our end, right, wait, on our TV. Wait, I have a question. Huh. Have we written down the VIP claims, or did you pull those items? I pulled them all to the side. All I didn't write them. them down. Oh, everything. Not just Mark, but everybody. Everybody. All except, right, except I'm waiting to hear back from Hal. Uh, he wanted a Gambit oh. and a... Um, Hal is here. I know. He wanted a Gambit and a Rogue. We're out of Gambits, but I oh. want to know if he wanted a Rogue still. You hear that, guys? We are out of Gambits. And if you're not a VIP, you, maybe you didn't get a Gambit. Sorry. For, uh, this is the best <laughs> toy actually my free couple of time. So, Barry, here's the deal. Barry <laughs> Allen. I love it. Here's the deal with our, our, our claim sales. You come for the toys, but really you hang for the conversation. Or is it the other way around? Rogue. He's good for Rogue. So let me pull a Rogue for... for now, where do you have that pile? Uh, well, this is a pile of roads. No, I understand that's a pile of roads, <laughs> but where's the pile of VIP claims? I'm going to try and get one without a sticker on it. Yeah. These stickers do come off if you get what's called undo. You're very careful. The, the undo, price stickers do come off. Undo I is, didn't feel like doing it with hundreds of figures. Undo is my absolute favorite product. I discovered that when I was working in a that's frame shop. That's Hal's. It just goes back there. Right. Just find a spot behind so the I'm scenes. Not, I'm not, we're not writing it down right now? No, just right. back. put it back there with he, that, he Who Remains. Here? There's already a rogue and a colossus. It's the, everybody's piles are separate, so put it in its own spot. All the piles are separate piles for people who claim things. Okay. Uh, Barry Allen said he's not the Flash. That's fine. Um, okay. How we might have a gambit. I haven't gotten to all the X Men boxes. Oh, yet. this is just what we were able to. Open. Yeah, I is, say we. This I, is just I got through twenty boxes. There are another ten. Yeah. Um, and I'm waiting to hear back from. Um, um, Alex, I think you said. Alex, yeah, that's sure a lot right here. So I think we're okay. I think we're ready to rock. All Let's right. start with Nightcrawler. I mean, basically. Let's start with Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. You have the list, right? Are I you do. good? Or do you, you want me to list? I got it. You got it? You, can, you, you can't do everything. Nightcrawler is 10 bucks. That includes free shipping if you need it shipped. So, uh, do you want to do Camera 2 or not? Sure. Throw them on Camera 2. I mean, two. if you want to. I need to get to Camera 2 before I can actually... So, the first three <laughs> claims we see... We have an evil chicken claiming Nightcrawler. That is George Scully. I'm well aware of just being entertaining. Um... Hi, George. Scully, thank you. There's so many piles. And we have a second Nightcrawler claim. Do we have a duplicate? We do. We have three. Okay, so we have George Scully claiming first, then Mike Alvin. Alvin. Mike Alvin. So um, the voice you're hearing is our production manager, uh, <laughs> Kermit, a.k.a. Penelope's sister, Selena. Did we get all three claims? We have two Here. so far. I'll take the one that you get claimed. And I'll stick it up on camera, too. So, um, uh, she is, when you hear her voice and you hear the ding, <laughs> the ding, and you hear her name, uh, a name, that is the... We have Lenny claiming B-A-M-F. All right, Bamf. He's saying Bamf, I know what he's saying. Bamf. Uh, Jeff so, there. so Jeff that Jeff ding and, and, and the name she says, she yes. is basically Oz. She is, back there. she is our Lord and Savior this week. Uh, which brings me to the next thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I yelled at her last week on stream, and I want to apologize publicly for doing so. Did you? <laughs> I did. Oh, boy. I did. We had a whole conversation about it. So I'm apologizing publicly for yelling at her. Um, luckily, we it was... We don't do public chastising. Luckily... No, we do. I do. We're but siblings. I'm, we bicker. But I'm apologizing. I understand. I appreciate it. It was amusing because we're siblings, but it was still shitty, so I apologize. <laughs> All right. How about Storm? Um, this is the silver me, version. Me, get, get, I believe she is oh. the, uh, the second version she's in like silver camera two uh these cards are exemplary usually you go to a store and these things are really beat up so storm is uh 10 bucks oh i forgot about i have two of them i forgot about i'm just gonna have to move this just a tiny tad there we go All oh right. that's funny mark mark is uh so selena and mark and selena actually wrote a note to mark and put it in his, his last box that that we shipped um, it was that clown. The Pennywise was going off. He bought it like three. You can go back to camera one. He bought it like three weeks ago on Bartertown, and when we went to pack it, it kept like screaming. I was trying to pack it, and all of a sudden it starts vibrating and howling in my head like it's a mile. Um, 
We set a price on her, right? Yeah, ten bucks. Okay, ten bucks on. I hate that it's off to the side. We really should have put it in the middle. Unless we stay on camera too, you can't see what we're selling. Here, I want to see. I'm gonna check my prices real quick. Stick back on camera too, real fast. Are you just like generally checking? We're basically doing ten ten bucks across the board. Yeah, right? I don't want to say that at first though, because there are going to be some that are a little more, and yeah. then we will reduce some. Of course, as we do. Oh yeah, ten bucks is a good deal. She okay. sells for seventeen. And that is is that Power Glow? Is that what she does? Uh, yeah, she's like the silver version. Okay. She looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, nobody wants her. That's fine. We can go That's back fine. to camera one. Oh, I do wish that you could still see it on camera one. I really should have put that in the middle this week. Oh, that's all right. I was trying to be um, clever and stick it off to the side. We have one Iceman on a gorgeous card. Does she light up? Um, I'm going to check. I don't know if she lights up. Power play. Power glow. Special edition. Mark, it does not. Mark, yes. Mark, yep. Mark, yes. Yeah, she yep. lights up. Mark, Mark would know. So Mark worked at KB <laughs> when all these were on the shelves. So yes. He probably has fond he reminiscences. He probably tagged these exact, the exact figures, which is the conversation we had earlier. Um, who you got next? you want me to do the roundabout here? Yeah. Okay. Iceman? Yeah. All right. Camera two, if you please. I'm just going to recap. We do have Rogue, who does light up. She's Power Glow. She's 10 no, bucks. No, Sto Storm. Storm, I'm sorry. I, I, lady. Oh, you might oh, want to plug in the computer. Yeah, I have some Power Glow <laughs> going right now. Oh, give us a second. Please, please that hold. would be amazing. You can go ahead and plug that in. It's Where's already... The... Oh, dear. <laughs> it's here somewhere. Hold on. Give us one second. Oh, please. it's there. It's right there. Keep it's going. Cold, cold. What Where is happening? It's fine. We just need to plug in the laptop. Yeah, Keep we, going. We just need to do it quickly. That's okay. all. Yep. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> there's always something we forget about there's always something we forget about um, but always. it's all good we've got oh that could have been legendary it could have been amazing um, so we've got Storm um, ba Power Glow she's, I said Batter Glow Power Glow she's 10 bucks uh, next up we've got Iceman and he is the so he's the cool blue he's kind of like a bluish color he's see through right yeah I just like Iceman yeah Selena we're charging right we're good yeah I okay, believe cool. this one was uh... Claim on Storm from Lenny Oh, Lenny. Thank you, Lenny. And uh, Iceman. What's cool about him, no pun intended, is that you can <laughs> stick his... Let me feet. see his color real quick. Is he blue or... He is blue. He's like a... So you can go back to camera one real fast because it's dead boring on camera two right now. Mm. He's like a clear color, but he's blue and he definitely has eyeballs. I know some of them like just have like a plain white eye or like a plain blue eye. This one has a white with... All right. So anyway, uh, 10 bucks, Iceman. 10 bucks on Iceman? All yeah. right. We can we shimmy. still have one storm left. We can shimmy back to camera two, if you like. What do you put in there, storm? Storm got claimed by Lenny. All right. You got that right. What's left up there? There's, a, there's like got, something just sitting yeah, there. Yeah, there is. Well, I there. filled it before we started. Right, what's next? Um, Iceman, 10 bucks. X-Force Forearm? Is that actually his name? That can't be his name. Yeah. His name is Forearm because he has forearms. That we didn't is... get to any X-Force guys yet, but that's wow. fine. Wow, yeah. <laughs> he's he's also ten bucks. We're basically going down. The, who's that forearm? Forearm, yeah. He's an uncanny X Force forearm. Um, Mark hit the nail on the head. The indent in the ice slide was so you could place water in it and freeze it. Absolutely. So that he actually had like ice. Yeah, it's a very um, fun toy. Mike is waiting to see everything first. Mike, I don't know if some stuff's gonna sell. So well, I don't know, there's but... multiples of so much of it. Um, yeah, we have multiples. I mean, look at all these piles. Most of these piles are the same guy all, right, all the way I'm going to go through these the guys we only have one of first. <laughs> all right. That sounds good. That's that'll, actually a good That'll idea. create a little bit of uh, impetus. A little bit of excitement. Yeah. All right. I seem to have messed up some piles here, so let me fix that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Jeez. That is... Random. His name is Random? Yep. Ten bucks. Is he a good guy? Because he's not on an evil villain card, but he... Uh, I don't know this character, but he reminds me of a villain. He's very uh, strange. Somebody, somebody okay. update me on Random. He just looks kind of random. I mean, I don't know oh, what to geez. say about that. He really does. His, his bio on the back makes him sound like he's a villain, too. If the price is right, there's almost nothing that random won't do. And with four arms that transform into powerful blasters, there's almost nothing he can't do. All okay. right. Yeah, he doesn't sound like a good guy. No, but he's not on a bad guy <laughs> card. The bad guy cards are purple and they say evil mutants. Who else is single? Here's a good one. Mm, oh, yeah. This guy's good. Which go. edition is that? This is seventh edition. They did so many Wolverines. At this point, Wolverine was so um, 
Mark said he was a in between her as a mercenary. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wolverine was so popular; he was he was the X Men by yeah. this by the you know yes. by this point, which makes sense because he's just so. That's arrogant. street clothes Wolverine, right? Street clothes Wolverine, seventh edition. Street clothes Wolverine. There's only one of him. Only one. Twelve of him. bucks. Twelve bucks on street clothes Wolverine. You know you need this guy. Um, that he still has his original KB tag. It looks like uh, Casper is uh, spamming some good knowledge here. Random is a fictional character. And anti-hero. Sorry, we have a claim from Mike Alvin for Will Wolverine. Um, so you go back to camera one while we're chatting for a second. Peter David. Okay, keep keep going. I like um, that. Random is a fictional character and uh, anti-hero appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. The character was created by writer Peter David. We met Peter David. We did, didn't we? yeah. He wrote Imzadi. Excellent fact. Oh, that's right. I think. Am I confusing? Matt Kaplowitz. Oh, on, oh right. scroll down a little bit. Am I confusing this. my guys? I missed, I missed Random's, random's price. price. Uh, ten bucks. But Matt. he was. Already, oh no, no he wasn't was clean. Okay, yeah, yeah. I keep turning the spinner like here's people a, can see it. Here's another. Um, <laughs> Is that a different storm? It's the black version. It's the first version. Oh. So the early version. Oh, she's that's wait at series one, I, I believe. She's kind of a little. Yeah, bit. she's coming off the card a little bit. Oh yeah. That's alright. Claim on random from Matthew Kaplowitz. Matt, thank you. Matt, thank you. We're going to be seeing you soon. What a random choice. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I am just so hilarious. I just realized I'm actually wearing my one of my Wolverine shirts today. Oh, I thought that was intentional. Um, it was, but Sometimes. then I forgot. Storm, <laughs> the black version is uh, she's her her bubbles coming off the card a little bit. Yeah, I noticed that. She's a little bit coming uh, off. The eight card. bucks. Eight bucks for her. Yeah, she's the original black outfit. I believe. Um, yeah, power she's glow, the so early. she does light up. Um, Slay, so you could kill the Patreon link. It doesn't need to be over everything. Although I don't really oh, mind just leave it. it but there. Are you sure it's yeah, covering it's just over? Leave it there. All right, it's just covering over some of what we're looking at here. Um. All right, let's, let's go to some guys we have multiples of now. All right. Well, what is this small air pile next to me here? Two, it's an X-Force uh, I haven't gotten mm -hmm. to them. I was going to do an X-Force lot, and I was going to do an oh. Evil Mutants lot. All right, great. So they can just so sit. So they can just sit for now. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Okay. This is a character I believe created for the X-Men series. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So that's first release, Mark. Yeah, it's... And, and because she's Wave 1, Series 1, she's probably worth a little more, but unfortunately her bubble's coming off. You can't really tell, and if you put, put her up, it's good. Claim on the $8 Storm from Nick Rich. Thank you, Nick. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. Another way, another claim. Very, very, close. very, very close. Oh, well, who was, who was that typing? <laughs> it was Casper. He actually Casper said, was, dang. He was writing he so typed, much. He typed too long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, we have multiples of Morph. Morph is only 10 bucks. Uh, he's awesome because he comes with... Look at all the heads he comes with. I love that. All the you're head. Getting, you're getting... Comes with all the head. You're getting, you're getting multiple figures in one. You've got a Cyclops he's head. He's got a Cyclops, a Wolverine... And then um, a evil morph head. And, yeah, I and was gonna say morph it's like a good morph and a bad morph. Um, morph, I believe, was invented for the uh, just for the cartoon. Show? Yeah, I believe so because they needed Wolverine to have like a friend. Was that the same thing with Jubilee? Was she inv in invented strictly for the show? I don't know. If she appeared in the comics first. I think she appeared in the comics first, but she was like I'm not sure. Heavy in the show. Yeah, he was. Um, so wait, they they gave morph. To Wolverine as like his buddy, yeah, and that lasted like two episodes. He died like the first episode. Why? Once a member of the Uncanny X Men, Morph <laughs> sacrificed his life to save his teammates from the mutant hunting Sentinels. Resurrected by the evil Mister Sinister and set against his one-time allies, Morph now uses his shape-shifting abilities in an attempt to put an end to his former friends. That's messed up. That's like a reverse Smurfette. That's the show started on a grim note. He was, and uh, Jubilee was as well. Thank you, Mark, for clarifying. Lenny, uh, yeah, I don't know. So yeah. Morph is 10 bucks. The show. And we have, 10 bucks. we have many Morphs. Many Morphs. So if you want to Morph. Morph it up. Morph it up. Morph it up. It's Morph in time. All right. He's, now, in, the, he's in a classic X-Men outfit, which is awesome. Should I stick Morph back in the Morph pile? If he doesn't sell, yeah, just put him right there. All right, so he can stay in the Morph pile. The army the army of, of Morphs. morphs. Um, I've got two other guys that haven't sold. I guess I'll just pull them and stick them. Jubilee first appeared in the comics in 89, which means she's before the show, I believe. Huh. Jubilee was not created for the cartoon. Yeah, okay. I, that's what I, right. why I didn't say that. Listen, when Mark Acaro tells me... But she fast, was heavily <laughs> featured in the show and became popular because of the show. Where should I put things that didn't sell? Because we're going to want to do them again, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll just make a pile, like, next to me? Sure. All right. Um, all right, this guy's going to go. All right. Oh. 
cool this guy is. There's only three. Wow. I don't even know what this is. Uh, That's awesome. The couple of the cards have a little bit of edge bend, like just the, the bottom edge is a little bit. You can just put a book on that and it'll straighten back out. This is Wolverine's second edition, um, but it's his classic X Men outfit. The first, the first Wolverine, the, the first one that came out was more of a Frank Dang. Miller orange. That is a this is the best beautiful. Wolverine. Uh, these carded Wolverines. What do you want to say? We didn't. I didn't say a price, price yet. I, I, Lenny, <laughs> Lenny, <laughs> Lenny, you're ahead of us. Settle down here. Go to camera one. Lenny, <laughs> Lenny I accidentally drank some of your water. Just Lenny, that's all settled down. I didn't say a price. <laughs> Well, we know what that means. Um, we can put one aside for Lenny, now, but it's so $5. Mike did it too because probably because he saw Lenny do it. Everybody's yeah. like, "Oh, Justin must have set a price." No. Justin didn't say a price yet. <laughs> I didn't say it either. Lenny, you made me ring the bell. It's like, okay. I'm not neither, mad at you. We neither to... neither Alfred so, nor Robin. <laughs> Lenny and Mike, type into your. Little... Oh wait! Well, hold on. I don't have to be Alfred and you be Batman. I can be Wonder Woman and you can be Batman. Perfect. So Lenny and Mike, right? type like, into why your. Why is that so wrong? Type the words "claim Wolvie" and get ready to hit enter. All right. This is Wolverine. This is a great version of Wolverine. It's not only ten bucks. Fifteen bucks for this Wolverine right, right here. You can go back to camera two so everybody can see the beautiful things that they are buying. He is nice. Again, some of them do have tags. Some of them do have a little bit of bend around the side. Uh, claim patience, said Nick Rich. <laughs> 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 can you not joke with the word claim while I'm Ding ding. <laughs> we have a claim on uh, Wolverine. Who was it? Mike, Mike and from Lenny. All right, there's one left. Mike Alvin and Lenny both got one. All right, look at that beautiful bad boy. All right, you can go back to camera. You can, yeah, it's putting it off to the side sucks because I if it was right here in the middle, we wouldn't have to keep switching back so much. Yeah. Um, but now that it's here, like I guess I could move it. I probably could. If There's we only one left. If nobody wants it, that's cool. That's fine. one more Wolverine. One more All right, Wolverine. so these two went. All right, so we still have this one. Yes. Right. Um, what are you doing with something that didn't sell? Because that didn't sell either. Um, putting it next to me just kind of replying to Alex now. Conkle you are correct I will never argue with Alex especially when finishing that yes <laughs> well it's not an argument I mean oh no uh, listen Mark I believe it's also like um, uh, it's it's a common misconception that she was created for the show because she wasn't popular at all in the, when she was in the I felt that she was I just yeah. assumed like because she's like very hip she's like young and right. bubblegum so we got two of these oh what the heck robot Wolverine Albert who the heck is Albert um, I, Albert. Create, created by the villainous Reavers to be an exact duplicate of the X-Man Wolverine. Wow, X-Man. I never really thought that X-Men wasn't singular. Um, Albert gained real feelings in an electrical accident. That's how I got mine, too. Now constantly rebuilding himself out of whatever materials he can find, Albert scours the world for his heroic doppelganger, but whether to befriend him or harm him, even he is not sure. I don't know. I, Albert. If anybody gets that reference... I get it. I will give them uh, two dollars off. A kiss? Um, Robot Cam Wolverine Cam is two. ten bucks. Ten we have bucks two of them. On Robot Wolverine. Um, Mike has got money for more but doesn't want to miss out on something awesome. So, like, I feel like a lot of folks are waiting for us to go through everything once. Because okay. they know our shtick. They know that we'll go back and make it cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if we have multiples, we're not making it cheaper, right? Uh, Lenny needs a Colossus. We only had one Colossus, and it went in a huge X-Men lot that got bought by one of our VIPs. One of our VIPs. Uh, we had two Cyclopses right. that got sucked one. up by VIPs. And I don't know if they did a regular Jean Grey. They did... Um, Phoenix, right? Phoenix, or yeah. Or like a, all the hair. Uh, what did we say? Robert, Robot Wolverine's 10 bucks. It's 10 bucks on Robot Wolverine. 2 bucks. I, Albert. I, Robot, the Will Smith movie. No, nope, Freddie, I don't think it was that. Um, Alex, Albert ran around with another robot named LCD, who was a little girl programmed to blow up when Wolverine tried to rescue her. Um, how, how did that... LCD. LC, oh, I, I didn't even get it. <laughs> oh, Matt said a regular gene came out eventually. It was pretty hideous. I believe that. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember them having a gene early on. I think Phoenix was the first gene. I accidentally took a sip of your plain water, and it was just plain water. It was That's horrible. That's what I drink. Oh. I, I can't believe nobody has bought a morph. I'm going to reduce morph now. Mor morph is eight bucks because <laughs> we have a stack of them. And I got to sell some of them. Here, I don't give me have... one. And let me put it on camera too, just so people get an idea. It's an of awesome buying. figure. He's in the classic X Men. It's outfit. really cool that you can change the head. So if you're looking for a loose figure, you could just pop the head off, and it's Wolverine. Like eight bucks for morph. Eight bucks on morph. I realize the old Bradley's tag says five ninety nine, but you got to just you know. Everybody left morph behind. <laughs> Dina claiming more. Dina, you don't need to... Is that Dina Arcaro? It is. So, 
Uh, Mark, earlier, um, maybe Mark should talk to you. <laughs> Um, Mark got a, a great lot earlier, and there was a morph in it. Unless you want to morph for yourself. <laughs> Listen, Dina is her own woman. Just Keith, because her husband. Don't worry, I believe Maverick is coming. Um, All right, you can um, you can go to Kitty Pride. You can go to Camera One. No, I don't know if they did Kitty Pride. I don't think they did. I got my Kitty Pride. All right, morph. So we've got write write her down for a morph. If they change, if if they don't need two, then we can always undo. But in the meantime, I'm just glad that we sold one. I love these old Bradley's tags. So just to go off on a tangent real quick, um, Lenny said he'll work for VIP. I don't know what that means. Lenny's entering indentured servitude. Um, <laughs> Put the, this with the other robot Wolverine. Okay. Uh, he's still up there on the thing. This is my to say pile of morphs. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So some of these boxes Morph and Mindy. <laughs> I made that joke last week, Did and you? nobody laughed. And this week you make it, and everybody's laughing. That's what not fair. Mean, everybody's laughing? Selena laughed. She's everybody. Kitty also got a figure way later. <laughs> Dina, he didn't tell me. All right, so sorry. Dina, you don't need that morph, right? That's fine. You two could take home this. Nobody wants to eat that morph. Morph, morph are my favorite figures. Dude, he's three figures in one. I have bad taste, I guess. Um, I like anybody that has the classic um, uh, X Men outfit. What was I talking about? Oh, so some of these boxes have the the original receipts, like in the bottom of them. Yes. I want to go over some of them. We we put them to the side. Um, this one is. Thank you for shopping Mantua Walmart. My name is Fred Savage, store manager. Not that Fred Savage. Maybe it was. Like, I don't know. Guess. Oh, Jack I knew somebody got one last week, and we just shipped it to you. Um, this receipt, Matt, I agree. This receipt is dated November 2nd, 1994. This guy has been sitting on these figures. It's for a turtle figure, $3.66. An X-Men figure, $4.94. A Star Trek figure, $4.83. And a Kodak Panora. Maybe film? Maybe. Were people still buying film yeah, in 1994? Yeah, Panor Panoramic. Yeah. Uh, $9.96. So this guy paid more for his film than he did for any of the figures he bought. Dude. And, and this guy <laughs> just bought and bought and bought and bought and bought and bought figures. He wasn't a reseller anymore. No. So his he, what he told, uh, apparently what the story is, is that he would give his kids toys whenever they got like good grades. But how many kids did he have, and how many morphs did they want? Keith said he had all the cables. That's my question. Speaking of all the cables, Keith. Here's a Caldor receipt. Oh, gosh. Exo Squad E-Frame, nine ninety nine. Oh, where's that? Where's Why didn't that? we get those? Spider-Man figure assorted, four ninety nine. Dude, we got some Spider-Mans and some Iron Mans. All the toy biz. This is like this is like a KB puked in our warehouse. Yeah. X-Men figure assorted. Could be anybody. Floral. We didn't get any floral. We could open a KB with um, all this stuff. Exo Squad Light Attack E Frame, $5. Damn. I want them. And NT Class Character Fig. What do we think that stands for? NT Class Character Fig. I don't know. Are right, you ready? We're, speaking of cable. Uh, yeah, Exo there was no Exo Squad. We I, got I no Exo Squad. I don't think the Exo Squad's in this cut. Uh, it's, it's not on the there's list. There's no Exo Squad, so we didn't get everything. Yeah, we didn't get everything he bought, that's for sure. Because I would have loved dated, those dated. This one is dated. Uh, November 5th, 1994. Everybody's saying, where's all the Exo Squad? Yeah, I, I wish. This one is dated November 5th, 1994. So he went to Caldor twice in one day. This, all right. This guy had a Caldor issue. <laughs> this guy was doing it in the 90s. So you want to talk about cable? How about a cable lot? That's first cable. It's a lot? Yeah. All right, camera two. Ready? We are ready. Pull that Wolverine. He didn't sell, did he? No. It's fine. All right, we have got... We've got cable, which edition? First. First. Now his card has a little bend, but he's still. I mean, come on. You can straighten out with books. You can. I'm just. I don't. I, ain't nobody got time for that. This is a uh, cable second edition. There you go. Second this edition. Is an instant cable collection. That's fourth. I don't. I, I could. I didn't find a third. This is cable fourth edition. Let me just make sure that he's firmly. Oh, deep sea gear. You, you know they're fucking. Oh, excuse me. There's my that one F bomb. One F -bomb God, sorry. <laughs> you know they're scraping when they're like deep sea dive Batman, deep sea cable. Deep Sea Spider-Man. You can be Deep Sea Diver Batman. Yeah. I'll be Pirate Fifth. Action Batman. Um, Swashbuckling Batman. Fourth, yes, that is fourth edition cable. Clobber action. That phrase made me think of the thing. <laughs> this is, would you say fifth edition? Yeah. Fifth edition cable. Cyborg and cable. We're now out of room on the thing, so I'm just going to lean him. And this is cable cyborg uh, with his cute little harness and his little uh, his little yellow and blue action there. Um you can go back to uh, to camera one. All that right, so that's good, a, that's five that is carded a good cables. Looking lot of five. I'm gonna call it. Is that a pile of morphs? 
It is. Here. I'm going to call the cable <laughs> lot 45 bucks. Butterscotch cable, key lime pie cable, mm, ca- cable, lime. cable primavera. I don't want key lime pie cable. <laughs> cable Alfredo. <laughs> Did Deep Sea anything ever sell well? Uh, I, I guess Deep Sea Aquaman, maybe. I like. Once you got to Deep Sea or Space Spider Man. Although Space Spider Man is cool now because the, the Avengers made it cool. Like, he's in space. Yeah. But, like. Back then it was like. Back then it was like, why is Batman in space? Why is why is Deep Sea Batman? Yeah. Who's he fighting? I don't. You know, my I think my favorite is when they do that with Superman. Like, Deep Sea Superman. Can he can he breathe underwater? Yeah. Why does he need, no, like, a scuba nobody gear? nobody can hold his breath. Yeah, why does he need scuba gear? He doesn't. The are, only we, gear, are we talking about Superman again? The only gear <laughs> space <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> Isn't it almost the same thing? I guess the gills don't work in space. Your gill, Arctic and fire suit. In yeah. space, no one can hear your gills. All right. Nobody wants cable. Nobody wants cable. What's happening? I said 45 for cable. 45 for the lot of five cables. That is a deal. I'm going to run out of room for places to put things that didn't sell. Well, I'm just going to bust it down. If All nobody right. wants the lot, let's just do singles. All right. If anybody wants single cables. All right. Start it. Break, break it down to camera two. We'll start with cable cyborg. Just as Justin is furiously crossing things out. Cable Cyborg. Yes? No, you know what? Okay. Let's keep that. We'll, we'll sell it online as a lot. All right. So never mind. I'm cool with that. You I can, have enough loose cables. You can go back to camera one. Also <laughs> long, guys. <laughs> our plan was we wanted to sell 100 cables. Was that our plan? It's all about streaming. He does. All right. So I'm going to stick this. I'm going to... Cable is old news. It's all about streaming. <laughs> You know, there is a character named Comcast. Yeah, which blew my mind when I saw it. I was like, You know he's got to be a bad guy, right? Yeah. yeah. His his mutant power is Monopoly. Yeah, his mutant power is bad service. <laughs> bad customer his, service. His mutant power is scheduled maintenance. His mutant power is telling you he'll be there between 8 and 9 and showing up three weeks later. <laughs> Somebody Googled... Uh, Listen, Matt, the Comcast figure is cool, but his name is Evil. I don't know if you have Comcast <laughs> up in uh, New York, but we deal with Comcast down here, and it's oh, no. terrible. All right, so we have, actually, we have 4th Edition Cable. <laughs> Comcast tried to become a good guy, changed his name to Xfinity. We, so we do have a single 4th Edition Cable? We have two of them. All right. Ten bucks. All right, Swena, you can go to camera two real quick just to show everybody what we got going so on. I'm still caught up in Comcast jokes and <laughs> Xfinity men. <laughs> Dude, we have some, we have some, we got some, a good writer's room here. Yes. Um, this is fourth fourth edition fourth edition cable. What did you yep. say on him? Ten bucks. We have ten two bucks on fourth edition cable. If anybody wants him, uh, independent of the lot, he's his own free free agent. He does not need to be in the it's lot. It's actually air assault cable, but it's, it's a very cool outfit. Um, you can go back to camera one because I'm going to take a look at this card. God, it's very X Force. Includes official Marvel Universe and... trading card. Having returned from the future to protect to return from the future. Having returned yeah. from the future to protect the present from mutant menaces, Cable stands ever ready to turn his amazing arsenal of futuristic weapons loose against any and all supervillains. To protect from mutant what? His jetpack allows him to reach any crisis zone within seconds, in time to ensure the perpetrators don't live to enjoy the fruits of their ill-gotten gains. Ooh. That is... In seconds? Like, so he's standing in Detroit, and he there's a problem in China, he can get there in seconds... Like, I don't really get that. Um, he was sent to the future as a baby. I knew there was a baby cable. I did know that. Um, what you got there? Well, it's... Um, oh, they're different. Yeah, it's Weapon X, but... How is that one different? It's not. What? The colors are the same. But this one says exclusive collect- KB collector's edition. This one says... Uh, are you sure they're exactly the same? Yeah. Let me use my discerning eye. Um, JR wants to know what everyone thought of Motu Revelations. We haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet, so we can't talk about it. Um, I did go see G.I. Joe by myself in a movie theater. He did. Um, Because I refused to waste any minutes of my life watching that movie. (laughs) uh, There was actually one other G.I. Joe, I guess, fan that had to be, or somebody who wandered in accidentally sitting behind me. Um, So there were two of us on opening day in the movie theater. (laughs) Um, I didn't talk to him at the end. We kind of just both hit our faces, sadly. So they have different cards. Okay, but the figures are the same. This includes your official Marvel Universe trading card, and it looks like they are different. Okay. This one has, like, a Professor X card. Were the cards all different, anyway? Like, did every Wolverine card Oh, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Card? No, I don't know. All right, so maybe they're not different. High-tech... Tra- I think there's different versions that has different color hoses, but that's not, you know... Where are my hose at? 
I um I think that one of those weapon X's I, I pulled a few. We need to look at them again. Um, because there was one the bubble was coming off and I don't want to give that to one of our VIPs. Okay, I don't want to give it to anybody. So just pull just put one up right now. One of we these? have one weapon X Hold on. One of these? Yeah. Which yeah. one? I don't care. Let's do the KB. Okay. One weapon X. Camera two. Don't worry, Justin. I saw Team MT3 by myself in the city. LOL. Twelve bucks. <laughs> Twelve bucks on KB exclusive Wolverine. Put that to the side for now. In his cool little outfit. It's Weapon X, man, and it's cool because it has the same font as the uh, the Marvel Comics Presents Weapon X series. That is really cool. So if you have that series, that amazing Barry Windsor Smith. Um, Twelve bucks on him, right? Yes. Okay. So don't worry, Justin. I saw Team in three, two, three. In my uh, last movie I saw in, my, in the theater by myself was Daredevil, the Ben <laughs> Affleck one. The last time I went to a movie by myself, I think it was The Virgin Suicides. Wow. I was dating a guy who worked in a movie theater at the time, and when he was working, sometimes I would just go and watch movies. And okay. I think that's the last movie I saw by myself. Well, when I was a projectionist, I used to watch all kinds of movies by myself. But as soon as we clear the front, I'm gonna move the thing to the middle and then move camera two because it's killing me that it's off to the side all right. like that. All right, here's another very cool Wolverine. This is um, fifth edition Wolverine. Mark, I agree. I really love. I love. First of all, I love Barry Windsor Smith, but I really love his art, and the card is really cool. It's like the rip-off look. Uh, camera two? Uh, yep. Ten bucks each on these Wolverines. This is like Special Mission Wolverine Brazil. Wolverine 5th edition. It is uh, Tiger Force Wolverine, I think. <laughs> I'm kidding. It is not Tiger Force Wolverine. Before his transformation into the superhero called Wolverine, the man called Logan plied his trade as one of the world's foremost <laughs> secret agents. His superhuman senses proved an invaluable asset in the realm of espionage I'm especially sorry, when enhanced by the most sophisticated so this is he's not he's, he's not wearing Wolverine scuba gear. Yet. can you guys see this he's yeah, wearing he's, scuba he's like, gear he's like solid snake he's wearing scuba gear, scuba gear. solid snake he's like a have, navy seal stop <laughs> tiger force lol um so solid snake does not have scuba gear he has a bandana like oh this is um this is like this we is like navy one. seal Wolverine this is like I don't know thrusting knife like. action attack al Poignard. Thrusting knife action? Attack al poignard. Attaque un poignard. It does not say un. Yeah, it does. It says ow. <laughs> ow. Attack al poignard. <laughs> I think that's French. Casper just made a really good point. Why does Wolverine have knives? He has six attached to him. That's a very that's good, pretty valid. very good point. Maybe he, you know, maybe he doesn't like pulling out. It's funny. Boy, he does come with a lot of knives. He doesn't knives. like what? Pulling out his, his <laughs> weapons. They hurt when he whips Dude, them out. Dude, look at this one. So this one's different than the rest. Look at the back. Yeah. Oh, they're not all French. This one's not French. Oh, so these okay. Two we are got. French. Yeah, we have. Um, we have French Canadian. We have bilingual French Canadian Wolverine, but he's not Wolverine yet, and yet he has the claws. I don't get that. And then I'm gonna eight bucks a piece on these guys. Sharan toy. I love this. This isn't this isn't toy biz. It's Sharan toy. And and nobody claimed that Weapon X. No. All right, ten bucks on Weapon X. We haven't had a claim I'm in like twenty that's minutes. That's why I'm trying to get a claim going. <laughs> Cable, 4th edition. Uh, no. George Scully claim Weapon X. All right. I'm going to give George one of the one of the French ones, because I don't know, they're kind of yellowed. Penelope, he claimed Weapon X. Oh, that's not this. There's only one. Oh. And it's up here. Yes. It's, it's actually an awesome card. It is awesome. Great card. art. You got that right Very Barry Windsor. Yes. Right. Very Barry Windsor. I so, got my Wolverines uh, and my edition Weapon Wolverine X. 5th edition Wolverine is um, 8 bucks. We have a slew of them. Here, hold on. I'm going to put up... I'm going to show everybody both the French and the American. I'm going to go to camera two quickly. Je m'appelle um, Wolverine. Je, je m'appelle Logan. This is the bilingual... Bub. bub. Je m'appelle Bub. <laughs> oui, oui, Bub. Oui, oui, Bub. Um, <laughs> this is the French-Canadian uh, version. The, the bubbles are a little more yellowed on that version. And then you've got the American version with just the Mark, English. Mark made a great, made a great point. Frank Miller had him wielding a katana. Yeah. Well, the dude's got six katanas. I know. It makes no sense. You can switch back, yeah. Um, so if you would like one of these pre-Wolverine Weapon X Wolverine guys, um, Corrosion, okay, um, just claim, hit, hit, type claim in the comments. And if you would like a French or an English, please just, just let us know. I can't imagine these are going to fly off the shelves. The outfits are cool. It's like this nice, like, copper color with, like, a green. Let's do this. Um, am I going to... Where am I putting these? You saw the pile? All right, yeah. That's him. Some are darker than others. Yeah, some of them are, like, yellow but yellowed. Oh, that 
one's black. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, so so you got oh. a black and a green one. Oh wait. Oh, it's variants. Okay, so there's a green variant. It's a KB exclusive. Green's KB exclusive. Oh, all right. Same price for either. If, if anybody yeah, wants any of these, just uh, nobody wants any of them. It's all right. They're Why? Gonna all going on our new website. It's because all the VIPs already claimed. You know what's really cool? Wanted. Modern Marvel Legends have started yeah. using the card art from these yes. and doing, which is super cool throwback. Jack, <laughs> Jack Cousteau Wolverine. I like that. All right. all right, Rogue. Camera two, please. Classic. My girl. My girl. My girl. Alright, there is Rogue. We have multiple, so no, nobody panic. I know it's hard to believe, but we actually have more than one. Mm -hmm. Ten bucks for Rogue. Ten bucks on Rogue. Ten dollars for Rogue. Well, do some of your... And um, her, and her, uh, do some her of great your little NPR, outfit. NPR, ASMR. Here we have uh, Rogue, who... <laughs> Pepe Le uh, If she touches you, she draws power out of you. She kind of saps your energy. <laughs> Um, You're sapping my the way, right now. The way she, she kind of has a, um, it's like a wife. <laughs> she has what's called wife power. <laughs> she just saps your energy. My leg, I hurt my leg. I need to go. Who claimed Rogue? George. And Joe, Joe behind him. All right, Selena, you can go to camera Joe who? One. There's a Joe Don't say Joe Mama. I believe that Joe might be new to Barbertown this week. Joe, um, thank you for joining us. Joe would like a Weapon X and a Rogue. His name is Joe, um, I don't want to mispronounce it, Triolo or Triolo. Spell it for me. T-R-I-O-L-O. -O. Um, Joe would like a Weapon X and a Rogue. I'm hoping that we do still have one of each of those, right? Do we not have a Weapon X? Um, I'm not sure. If we do, we will. Uh, I have to check the bubbles. But we definitely have Rogue. Okay. Um, Joe? We have enough rogues. A pile. We have enough yeah, rogues for everyone. All right, Selena, it's on you to start calling the rogues. All right, hold on. Give did us you one get? Second. Did you get Joe with the rogue and possibly for an a uh, weapon X? A weapon X. Joe, we're not sure if we have any weapon Xs left. We think there might be one or two back here behind me. Um, we will let you know. Bear with us. We will let. Do you us know. a favor, Joe. If this is the first time buying from us, uh, shoot us a message real quick and just say, "Hey, I'm Joe." That way, it makes it easier for us to send you the invoice at the at end, the end of, this. of the stream. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Let's run. Let's do the rundown of rogues. Behind right. Joe, we have Andrew CZ with the rogue. Where's the pile of rogues? Right behind, behind him. All right. So this is Andrew and his rogue. <laughs> Kevin said that she could touch and sap his power anytime. Same. <laughs> Rude. And I think that's it for claims on okay. the rogue. If All I right. Cool. Anybody sing out? Did we? Thank um, you, Joe. Thank you for joining us. Did we uh, miss any rogue claims? No, nope, we're, we're she's scrolling back up. We have We've got George. plenty more. Share. <laughs> we got George. We had some rogue commentary. There's rogue commentary, but no rogue, rogue claiming. All right. I'm sorry, you have to bend back. Well, up then, yourself then now we got. If I were an X Men. If Justin was an X Man. If I were an X Man, camera two, please. Here we go. Man, he looks great on the card because he's so big. Beast, if, ten bucks. If my husband was an X Man, he would be Beast. If I was an X Man, would I be Rogue? I guess. Um, I don't have I don't have that red. hair. Yeah, would I be? All yeah. right, Beast is looking really good. The card is beautiful. Cindy, you can go back to camera one. I can't wait to move this over once we get this pile out of here. Um, let's do this pile next so I can move. Sure. Yeah, if you don't mind. Um, ten bucks on Beast. Beast is awesome. We have a pile of Beasts. If anybody wants one. You do have a pile of Beast. What is here? Oh, this is like all different. Hold on. Let me see. George coming in with the beast. George Scully. <laughs> Mutant flipping power, the edited version. <laughs> and uh, we have a claim for beast behind George, too. Who's that? Andrew CZ. I'm going to grab the other beast behind you. Thank you, boys, for your claims. All right. Let me see what we got. Probably just pulled out here. I'm not sure what we got here. These are all phoenixes, it looks like. But there's oh, yeah. one guy who's not a phoenix on top. Which is a little weird. Oh, cool. All right. Well, here you go with um, with the phoenix. Put her up. If you have one, beasts two, in two three, weeks, I may four, want five. one. Matthew, there's a good we chance. We will. That maybe we will. There's a very um, good chance. Don't hold me to that because we might have a run on them. You never know. Phoenix. Thank you, Selena. I think she good, lights good up. transition. Does she? Fiery Phoenix power. Ten uh, bucks. Yep, batteries. Yep. Ten bucks. Her whole head lights up orange. Nobody's going to open these, though. You Don't open them. They display beautifully on these cards. I mean, for the prices we're selling them for, you could definitely freaking open them if you wanted to, but I'm not a fan of doing that. I don't like opening um, I don't like opening Phoenix, vintage stuff. All right, you can go back to... Thank you. Gosh, you're, see, you're, you're We have a, we have a bunch of these, now. guys. Don't be, sh don't be shy with Phoenix. Does she, she partners up well with Rogue. <laughs> Does she now? That's what I heard. I think I watched that video. This ain't X-Men? This ain't... 
I always thought Beast Man. was a weird character. Here he is, one of the smartest people, scientist, and his power is strength and anger. Which I, well, I like the juxtaposition. That's me. That's is it? me. Is it? Yeah, because I'm brilliant. Are you? But my mutant power is strength and anger. Okay. Here, could you move that pile? <laughs> I, I guess this. I would be the Hulk. Sure. All right, that's good. That works. Now I can actually do camera Triple X Men. Yes, I think that's actually a thing. It is. I not that. There is a green and red variant of what? Um, not the of, of Phoenix? Phoenix from uh, Alex. Alex, I um I shot a picture of a X Men lot to you. Um, if you want that lot, please tell me here. I'll throw a Phoenix in for the same price. Let me see if she's up there. She's not. So if you want that lot, the price I told you, I'll throw a Phoenix in for that. Let me know. Okay. If not, I'll just do a Phoenix here for you. Um, I'll claim a phoenix too. Did we? Okay. That was oh, Alex. Mark said of phoenix. Two. Okay. Um, two sides for a while. I wanted to red one if they have it. I'm not sure what these. Were we don't have a red phoenix. I don't see one. Mm -hmm. Unless it's on the different card. Uh, Tiffany, you didn't miss phoenix. We have tons of her. Uh, is she still up here? Hold on. Where did she go? Where is I can ignore his DM. All right. So this is Alex. This is Alex. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Then you can ignore my DM. Okay. All right, give me one second. I got to do something, Alex. Uh, um, in I, the I meantime, wanna, hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. I want to do. I'll, I'll just pile. Okay, pile. fair enough. <laughs> in the meantime, grab me a phoenix so I can put it up for camera two, so that Tiffany can take a look. You can use that one right there. I'll grab Alex. Oh, okay, Selena, you can go to camera two real quick, which I just moved. Tiffany, we've got plenty of phoenixes left. She's ten bucks. She lights up. Mark would like a phoenix also. Yeah, I didn't put them in the in Mark. Mark bought a nice lot, and there was no phoenixes at that point. I didn't find them until after I did the picture. Fair enough. <laughs> Everybody wants a phoenix. <laughs> Tiffany would like a phoenix. Yay! All right, let me actually steal the list from you, Justin. I'm going to phoenix ten bucks. Mark and, and Alex both got really nice X Men lots. Tiffany P. Um. Is Mark getting a phoenix? Yeah. Mark just claimed a phoenix. He, he claimed just claimed a phoenix. So I didn't have one when I did. Okay. You know what? Just throw it in for him. All right. So. Am I writing it on here, though? Uh, uh, we're, uh, his, uh, his, his lot. <laughs> we're confused. Mark can behind the scenes. You can go back Actually, to camera one. I just one. realized I'm still on two. It's fine. Just write. Uh, we're going to have to go give this, put this in Mark's pile, which is over there. Okay. This is Tiffany's. All Hi, right. Rocky. Um, Hi, Rocky. Rock a mo. What's up, my man? Um, this is for Mark. Mark. Yeah. I don't know which pile this is. It's a, it's a pile of like thirteen figures. Got there, it. There's well, two. Top, top here? Yeah. Is All that right. the Phoenix where her hair lights up? Yes. yes. This is Alex's lot. And I'm putting this not in. No, here, it's his own thing. Pile? Yep. All right. All right. I think we still have three Phoenixes left. Did anybody claim that we didn't pull? Um, Mark, you're very welcome. I claimed. I, I pulled Tiffany and wrote her down as well. Mark Phoenix. claimed one, so he's got Tiffany one. Was the last two. Just scroll back. To All right. We do have three phoenixes left. All right. Is the plural of phoenix? Phoenixes? It's phoenixes. It's phoenixes, I believe. It should be phoenixes. But it should be. This is so much better. Camera two is so much better now. It's it so much really better. <laughs> There's a little bit there. glare. There's always a glare. Um, Who's next? We did Rogue. We did Beast. Alex, thank you. Um, I'd like to try another lot, maybe. Okay. We can do that. Is anybody interested in a lot of phoenix saga figures? This is your Wolverine with the scuba gear. I think he's right in front of you. Oh, we didn't do pyro yet. I'm gonna do a, a lot of uh, of. I'm gonna put him back here. I'm gonna do a lot of, of bands. <laughs> There's too many X Men, and I'm starting to get overwhelmed. <laughs> We're gonna get. He's not a bad guy. Ooh. This isn't bad, guys. This Why is, is like... he in space? Oh, no, not again. Why is he in space? Not so we're gonna go to camera two. <laughs> Why is Wolverine in space? This is a very cool space, lot. Space. All right. So we have Space Wolverine. I don't understand why. I mean, I guess I'm not against it, but I don't really get it. Um, this is War Star. How cool is that guy? Wow. He is awesome. Um, we've got Gladiator. He reminds me of the guy from Big Hero 6 in a green outfit. Yes. Um, and 
Who the heck is this? We can fight Spike. Corsair, a swashbuckling space pirate? Is that actually what it says? Yeah. yeah that's what it says. Why? What? I don't... Okay. I don't Still even know. It. it just sees four? Uh, and Phoenix. Oh, and a Phoenix. So this is a Phoenix Saga lot. Okay, cool. So you can go back to camera one. So we've got Phoenix... We've got Corsair, the space pirate. So they redid a lot of these figures <laughs> on the longer. You'll yes. see them in a minute. The longer X Men cards, same figures, but like when they started doing the series, like um, Corsair is Cyclops' dad. Thank you, Alex. That actually makes a lot of but sense. But these are the um, the shorter cards that go along with the cards we've been doing. This is a lot of five figs, uh, forty-five bucks. Forty-five bucks for you the five. We got Phoenix, Wolverine, Corsair, who is, Gladiator, who, who is, is Cyclops' so, dad. Totally awesome. Um, Okay, I have more respect for Corsair now. I'm War Star, which is funny because like Star Wars, bio. Um, War Star actually has a little dude with him. War Star is um, a tough figure. Uh, He's cute. Somebody He's... asked me about War Star on VIPs, and I shot them a picture because we have two different card ones, but they didn't answer. Um, Corsair, snatched from the earth by a passing Shi'ar spacecraft, Christopher Summers was pressed into service as a slave of that galactic empire. But he burst the bonds of his captivity, and now in the company of his fellow Star Jammers... The Star Jammers. He roams the cosmos as the free-booting... Free-booting? What? The free-booting space pirate known as what's, Corsair. What's free-booting? Free-booting? Um, Casper... What is free-booting? Loves glowing things. Free-booting. So a couple of these figures do glow, Casper. Free-booting? Can somebody Google free-booting and explain it to me, please? I don't know what that means. Because I think I saw that in that The Saint X-Men movie, too. Uh, I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants the Phoenix Saga lot. No, nobody wants this. Well, just put it to the side okay. then. That's fine. Is it activated or one word? Free booty? Free, free booting. Right, and it's it... two words. Two words. Free booting. There's no no dashes. No, no, none of that. Well, let's do some single figs then. All right. Were they the first Guardians of the Galaxy? Mark, that's a great question. I don't know. War Star is cool. I like we'll that. Have, oh, okay, we'll... it's a word. What the hell? And is it a word or is it a hyphenate? Like, what it's, is it? Uh, um... ColumnsDictionary.com is showing it as one single word, no hyphen, no hyphen or anything. Piracy is free booting. Is that Lenny's like bootlegging? It. Lenny's got it. The practice of living from plunder or piracy. Wow, never heard of it. So listen, all those figures over there on the floor. Oh my god, yeah. We'll just get one of each. Okay. And we'll we'll start running through them. All right. I, I know there's like a single corsair, you know. Down here. Yeah. As well. One of each. All right. Oh, um, did you see Andrew's comment? No. Andrew's interested in a. He's interested in a war star by himself. A Andrew, done. Uh, Ten bucks. Which, so which were you, Andrew? Was it you who asked about war star in in VIPs? I forget. Um, we have, I have two different carded versions of war star. The larger. Actually, it's over here. Oh my god! Look at all the mojos. Jesus. Yeah, we're mojoed up. It's like, mo got, it's like mojo got, Nixon over here. We got here. mojo rising over up in here. Do me a favor. Yes. Just put them down. I'm, okay. And that, that case right there. Does it there, involve me getting up again? Yes. Okay. The case right Andrew there. Andrew said no. It wasn't him. Okay. The case up there on here? top. No, on top. Here. Yeah, there's War Stars in there. The entire thing is War oh Stars. <laughs> uh, grab one of each card. Yes. Are we going to play a game of which War Star? We are going to play a game of Andrew. So we got War Star in the longer okay. card. You can put them on, you can put them on camera too. Oh, we got like, War Star on the, uh, on the shorter. Oh, no, it actually looks fine. X-Men style, like early card. Ten bucks each. <laughs> free booting and fancy free. Is this becoming a free for all? No. Like yes. No. Okay. Everybody asking for things like no, no, no. That'll be. Um, Mark thinks it was Dan O. Oh, can, it might have been. We can hit Dan up after the stream. I'm sure we have extras. We do. <laughs> um, shorter card. All right, put that away. All right. Anybody else want a war star for ten bucks? Is there no one else? Is there Who no was one that? else? That was Andrew CZ. Um, war Star with his own art or War Star with cool Wolvie art? Tough call. Yeah, that's true. I, I like the little cute guy. Oh, there, he's in there? Yeah. Oh, does he fit? Oh, that's so cool. I don't know. So he's like a giant mech. He reminds me of uh, Klaatu. Him and Gladiator are um, are like the boyfriends? guardians. Are they no, boyfriends? I don't think so. Are they boyfriends? I don't believe Can so. Can they be boyfriends? I mean, anything's yeah, possible. There's, there, there's variants of them out there. <laughs> I need I need to talk about Loki more. Like, I made an entire group just to talk about Loki. It's amazing. Anybody wants to join, I'll put the link in the description later. All right, later. let's do a couple baddies. All right, hold on. Got a pile here. Camera two. Camera two's over here. Mojo, 10 bucks. He's heavy. He's cool and weird. 
Mark uh, made us a set of Silverhawk bird stands. Guys, I have multiple mojos. Don't be afraid. Yes, exactly. Don't be afraid to start claiming uh, multiples because... Uh, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Who's runner? That is Freddie Bravo. Freddy. Just reaching for it. Veronica loves the group. Uh, yes, actually, I want to put the I want to put the link in. Mark, uh, not related, Justin made you a set of Silverhawk bird. Awesome! <laughs> I can't wait to display the Silverhawks. Um, we actually just sold one, the please. Silverhawk lot. We did. So it's actually a funny story. Um, we just sold a Silverhawk lot to uh, Mr. Brian Volkweiss, who is the uh, who runs who Nacelle runs Company. Nacelle Company. Uh, Mojo was Mojo 10, was bucks, ten bucks. Yeah, Dina. Um, we have plenty. And the, the box got lost because we accidentally shipped it to the wrong place. But they found it. But it was found, so it's all good, and everything's fine. What's cool is Nacelle Company yeah. just bought the rights to do a... Silverhawk show, which I'm stoked about. And Super 7 is doing new Silverhawk toys, which I might need to get yeah. because of the show. Yeah. i got to stop buying toys. Mm, do you? Yeah. It's literally what Dina, we do. you want a uh, mojo? Yeah, Dina, let us know. We have, we have, we have plenty. We have a lot of mojo. <laughs> Boy, we <laughs> have a lot of mojo. We have so mojo. much mojo. You feel my mojo? Who's the next guy? Where's the pile? Oh, there's so many piles, I forget which pile is which. Jonathan is here in the house. If you haven't watched his episode of A Toy Store Near You, it's funny, we just mentioned Brian Volkweiss. It is. Because now we're talking about Jonathan from Smash Toys. He's in the house. Hello, Jonathan. It's lovely to see you. We hope that you are doing well. Senyaka. Uh, camera two, please. We're Everybody's do... favorite... Um, X-Man? X-Force baddie. Um, he has whip. Whip snapping action. So uh, Senyaka is ten bucks. Let's start at ten bucks. He's ten Senyaka. bucks. Uh, Senyaka's ten bucks. Super Seven's going to do GI Joe. Yeah, Harold. So um, whip snapping action. They did. They did reaction figures, which I'm not a fan of, um, because GI Joe at five points of articulation makes no sense. Are we? Are but we they also high did on like. Um, are we? Are we high on these? I don't think so. All not right. when you include shipping in it. All right. <laughs> Get your mojo working. Fr point. Um, I hate Mojo, so I vetoed Mark and Dina. Uh, <laughs> Corsair, awesome. we're 10 bucks on these? Yeah. All right, single carded Corsair. If you would like a sexy space pirate um, to go along with your Mojo, he's kind of he's, like. He's kind of like. 10 um, bucks. He's kind of like. Uh, what's his name in, in Spaceballs? He's kind of like Star Lord? No, no, he said Spaceballs. Star Lord. No. Senyaka, 10 bucks. Corsair, ten bucks. Gladiator, ten bucks. Gladiator with his very attractive mohawk, and I really like his cape. And I'm Gladiator not being is funny. Awesome. Um, he's also ten bucks. Um, Eric the Red. Eric the Red, who doesn't quite fit on camera two. Eric the Red. Ten bucks. Ten bucks on Eric the Red. He, his name is Eric. He's wearing a red outfit. He's, he's Eric the Red. He's a space Viking. Um, so let me go to camera one. An agent of the Shi'ar Empire, Eric the Red. Now, hold on. I got to stop right there. Why is an alien named Eric the Red after a Viking? And he's wearing a horned helmet. Because the Vikings were aliens. Oh, wait. That's right. Because that's the whole thing with Loki and Odin and Thor. They're like Asgardian, but then Earth people made them like their deities, right? I guess. All right. Um, agent of the Shi'ar Empire, Eric the Red has Let proven... Let me thank you, Lone Star. Not Star-Lord. Lone Star-Lord. Lone There's a crossover Star. there somewhere. Uh, well, he's supposed to be Han Solo. Solo, Lone Star, get it? Um, an agent of the Shire Empire, Eric the Red, has proven to be a deadly adversary to the uncanny X-Men. Assigned to the sector around planet Earth, he was called upon by Emperor Dicken to do battle with the mutant heroes aboard the... It's pronounced Dicken. Dicken. I don't believe you. Okay. I think it's pronounced Dicken because there's a thing. But if it's pronounced Dicken, I mean... Yeah, I guess yeah. I'll go along with that. All right, so anyway. Um, aboard the Eagle One space station. Though unable to defeat the X-Men, Eric the Red's blind faith in his empire, combined with advanced Shi'ar weaponry and his espionage abilities, makes him a foe to be reckoned with. The Vikings conquered space after they finished with Earth. Duh. That makes sense. Sp they, they conquered it for all the space booty. Casper, I get it. The space booty. Um, all right, so nobody wants a Gladiator, a Corsair, a Senyar, a right. Senatara. Start them over. Go to camera two. All right. Who do we got here? We got Sen Zendaya. All right. Sen Senya Senya Senyak. Sen what is it? Senyaka. 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 Eight bucks. Eight bucks on Senyaka. Next. Corsair. Corsair. Eight bucks. Mike has a budget for one more figure, but he wants them all. Gladiator. Oh, God. Eight bucks, man, but he's good. Yeah. Eric the Red. Eight bucks. All right. I'm pulling them off. They're going to the they didn't sell yet pile. I'm not really getting close to my hundred figure 
What do we got? We got Alex claiming gladiator. Alex Conkle claiming a gladiator. All right, we still have more of them. They freebooted their way through the so, solar system. Um, <laughs> those crazy Casper just made things. a great comment, and it you hit the nail on the head. He feels like he should be dodging balls from Corsair. He does look exactly like Ben Stiller from that dodgeball movie. Oh, with really? The, the bandana around his head. He looks more like Solid Snake than the other guy you said looked like Solid Snake. Um, all right, Domino, everyone's favorite girl. Whoa! Domino! Camera two, please. Romeo, the Romeo! Domino? Let me guess. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. He does look like Ben Stiller. I absolutely, totally. I think people are really wanting the more name brand figures. <laughs> Domino, ten bucks. Um, Executioner. Now he's it's really cool. Executioner. Whatever. Executioner. So whenever I find I him loose, his outfit. I I never recognize the outfit he has on. Ten bucks. Cyclops went undercover as Eric the Red in the same outfit in a completely unrelated story 60 issues before they introduced the Shi'ar one. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's more a bird beat. It's weird. Selena, go to camera one. It's weird. I'm not sure what's going on with him. Um, Executioner has battle staff spinning action. Concerned about the growing menace of evil mutants, FBI agent Carl Denty assembled... (laughs) You know what Carl Denty's father's name was? Al. Al. (laughs) You're so funny. Um, when their cousin's name was Al Albert Tarigo. Um FBI agent Carl Denty assembled an arsenal of weapons obtained from the X-Men's greatest foes. Now in the guise of the executioner, he seeks out those mutants he deems a threat to human society. He reminds me of uh, the Mask of the Phantasm for Batman. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Here, no, oh, I yeah. know. They're, yeah. Camera two. Or camera one? He looks better on camera one. You guys ready for this? Camera one. Camera two real quick so you can get tight on him. All right. Uh-huh. Camera two. Yes. Wade Wilson. Unmasked Deadpool. Unmasked Deadpool, Wade Wilson. Everyone's favorite. Is he an X-Man? 16 bucks. He's not an X-Man. He's an X-Force. He's it says X-Force on it. He's unpunched. Yeah. Well, no, they're not all unpunched. So don't... You can go back to camera one. Oh, there's more than one? Yeah. Oh, okay. 16, Deadpool. 16 bucks on Deadpool. You know you need him. You want him. JR, everybody worth their salt Italian, right? That Deadpool has been hitting the gym. Well, it's the 90s. Domino Everybody's looks nice. like she's asking if Annie is okay. <laughs> Everybody's got Slimer from Ghostbusters. I don't even understand. I guess yeah, she looks like some she, sort of... Uh... She does kind of have a little bit of Michael Jackson hair in the front. I can't believe nobody is buying Deadpool. We're really... We're really striking out. What we got, uh, Selena? We have a claim on Domino. Christina Lashley Roberts. Christina Roberts is All claiming right. Domino. Thank you, Christina. Throw that in the pile there. Lenny claiming Deadpool with three O's. Deadpool. Deadpool. Lenny's spending some money. His wife's going to get on him. <laughs> I can't believe that's it for Deadpool. Listen, not everybody wants things. What we got? Claim on Domino from Harold. Uh, do we have another Domino? Let me double check. I'm just ringing the bell. We got 87 of everything. I'm we kind of do. I mean, I'm yeah, not going Yeah, that's the point. I don't know right. we have yeah. 87 of them now. We're good. We've got a second Domino. So how you are. Okay. How you good. How you are good. And thank you all for your claims. Um, I'm not allowed to blow up Deadpool in my backyard. How? I can't imagine what you mean by that. Deadpool? So I'm kind of glad blow you're not up. allowed to do it. I don't understand. <laughs> That's it. Christy will kill me, okay. yes. Who's, who's left here? What else we got here? Um, I am shocked that there's not more Deadpool selling. Well, put another one up. Maybe it'll sell. I mean, all right. Lenny, this is for you, too. I'm making Deadpool 15. It's a nicer round number. Uh, it's yeah, freaking Deadpool. Yeah. That's like the that's like the second Deadpool toy ever made, or, or third. We should keep it out so people remember that we have it, just in case. Perfect. Whoa! A blow, no. yeah, a blow up Deadpool. I'm a little confused by that statement as well, Jr. I'm not sure what's going on. Ooh, yep. this guy's cool. You know who that is? On the do I know who that is? Not yet, Selena. Give me a sec. These taller cards, I think, look better on camera one, but then we can do like a little tight, yeah, like zoom in real quick. Just to get, see you can see everything and then come out again. again. Yeah, you got it. You're on it. I don't need to yell at you again. <laughs> Strapped uh, cherry bomb to Deadpool and turned him into shrapnel. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> what else you got here? Yeah, I see a bunch of some stuff there. You good? Yeah. All right. What do you got here? Um. All right. We can do him. Okay. All right. Deadpool. All right. Mark. I knew. I knew putting them up here would mean someone knows what's out. Mark's getting a Deadpool for fifteen. I like that you can take his his cowl on and off. I think that's my favorite part. Did you see his towel? 
His cowl, but I'm I mean, sorry. his okay. cowl, I my, mean, my ears are a little bit it's Deadpool, you could, how are your ears, by the way? They're getting better. You feeling better? A little bit. Here, you put another one up. Okay, yeah. All right, um, let me spin here. Uh, Archangel 2. We can try spinning. Beautiful figure. We're on camera one um, right now, but you can go to camera two. I wonder, Archangel 1 might have the mask on. That's Archangel 2. The, again, these are the larger cards, but still. All right, you can go back to camera one. Um... Just people can get Archangel two is ten bucks. Ten bucks on Archangel two, not to be confused with Archangel one or Archangel three or four. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making it up. Um, what is this guy's name? Carl Bill or something? Hold on. Hodges. Yeah, Cameron Hodge. What? I'm sorry. What name is that? Cameron Hodge. I don't even know. I'm sure yeah, somebody claim, will. What do you got? Uh, Jack claiming Archangel. Jack V. Mark said that version one was way skinnier. Maybe he put on some muscle, Mark. I don't know. I know they did it. Um, oh, didn't didn't version one have little white missiles in his wings? You got me. I think so. I'm not too sure. Um, who Cameron heck, Hodge, ten who, bucks. What? Who or what is a Cameron Hodge? You got to ask Mark or Alex. I'm gonna read the back of the card in a dramatic fashion so that we can learn a little. He bit. He has like French fry hair. He does. I don't. He has play doh hair. Did you guys ever play? Selena, go to camera two real quick. I want to show the play doh hair off. Um, did you guys ever have like the play doh hair factory? You can go back to camera one now, <laughs> and like you put the play doh in the thing and you squeeze and it just comes out the top. Yeah, the, the little models um, had like holes in the top. Hodge of was one of the yeah. big bads in the extraction agenda in Genosha. Once a mutant-hating businessman, Cameron Hodge, TM, had his entire body reconstructed into a biomechanical killing machine known as a phalanx so that he could readily pursue his murderous goal, the elimination of all mutants. When you run out of superhero names, you just <laughs> part your neighbor's name. Driven by this hate phalanx. driven by hate and rage. Not just hate or rage, but, but both. <laughs> well, Hodge, that's a deadly combination. Hodge is not the most stable of opponents. I'm pretty sure that's Donald Trump. But his cybernetic abilities make him nonetheless a lethal one. What's funny is that on the back of the card here, that smile it looks a lot like my ex-boyfriend Cameron. Great. That's exactly what Cameron's face looked like when he was smiling. How about that? That's gross. He didn't have the stupid hair, though. Yeah, the French fry hair is weird. I don't get it. All right, and then we also have Wolverine Fang. People all talk about Wolverine having claws. Look at the amount of weapons this guy comes with. Camera two. I don't know why. He comes with an arsenal of weapons. They're all sharp, too. Ten bucks for Wolverine. Uh, also, ten bucks for Cameron Hodge. Yeah, if anybody wants Cameron Hodge and his French fry hair, he's ten bucks. <laughs> Was it French fry hair or Play Doh hair? It's Play Doh French fry. It's, about it's like, it's Price from the McDonald's Play Doh factory set where you I, could squeeze it and the French fries would come I take out. This <laughs> what else we got here? I don't know. It's, I'm not sure what this is, honestly. This is Wolverine Fang in a pile. Alright, so we have a bunch of them. Space, Space Wolverine from Wolverine. Phoenix Saga. And this is second edition. These are all just Wolverines here. Oh, I did a Wolverine lot! Oh, give me. Give me! Alright, nobody's gonna want it, but I'll give it to you. Oh, well. I'll sell it on eBay. Ew. I know. We're getting there. I think we this are, is like a lot of all the Wolverines. We are here. working tirelessly round the clock on our new website, and eventually it'll be a thing. So it's exciting. I'm excited. Swiss Army Knight of Superheroes. I just have a pile. <laughs> Rocky. So I just have a random You can pile. open it and paint his claws back to bone. He's he Wolverine, Wolverine Fang. Fang. Is he not regular Wolverine? I don't I don't know what Wolverine Fang means. Uh-uh. Does he have fangs? He, I don't he literally has fangs. Second. Or is he just like, Vampire he's Wolverine. sort of, okay, I get it. Third. He's like feral, like barbarian caveman Wolverine. Fifth. So he has like bones all over himself. Weird. But also knives, a lot of knives. One, two, three, four, seven, five, six, eight. seven, eight knives, a and maybe a pair of scissors. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, how did you manage to get the comments to be right? I don't know. Okay, and don't just, mention yeah. it. They'll hear you and go That's wrong. All right, exactly. I want to try something here. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm All right, feeling it. You're feeling it. He's feeling it, folks. All right, you ready? This is no, first sorry. edition. Do the do camera two. First edition. First edition will be. Second edition. <laughs> Second edition. Third edition. Second edition is slightly cut out. Third edition. Fourth edition. All right, we're now back around, so I'm going to take Logan off this one. Hands, yeah. Yes, Logan Scissorhands. What's happening in that one? Fifth edition. 
That's he's Weapon in, X. That's when he's turning X. in. They're putting oh, He's in like a, a, a hospital outfit. <laughs> Fifth edition. Sixth edition. Oh my gosh, this is so many. It's a lot of editions. He was very. It's Wolverine, guys. He's very popular. Sixth edition. Seventh edition. Oh my god, I'm running out of editions. Seventh edition. Eighth edition. Oh my goodness, this is insanity. It's, it's one through eight. Of the Toy Biz Wolverines. That is crazy. Oh, you can go back to camera one now. You uh, folks saw all of those Wolverines popping up on your screen one at a time. We have editions one through eight. That's not every one, though. There must have been more. I think that's might be it. They, wow. They did more. Yes, there is more. Um, what is, does Fang say a number on them? No, and he's on a different kind of car. He's, like, kind of different. It's like a different... You know what? I'll throw that in. Mutant Genesis series. So that's eight Wolverines plus Wolverine plus Fang. Wolverine that's Fang. nine versions of Wolverine that's for nine, 80 bucks. That is nine Wolverines for the price of eight. How that's can you go pack. wrong? Logan Scissorhands, isn't that an X-rated uh, film? I don't think so, Mark. <laughs> that is that's pretty much every version of Wolverine. And we have a claim on the lot. On the Darren, lot. thank you so much. I do recognize your name, Darren. I, as a matter of fact, I think from fairly recently... Um, so I don't have to go over the whole thing. Darren, that's a good again. deal. Um, because some of these you. are definitely, all of them are worth yeah. more than 10 bucks. So yeah. that's an awesome lot. It's just I'm nice I'm glad to... I put them to the side. That was smart. Uh, just a note real quick. This is the, remember I was talking earlier about uh, Weapon X. This, the bubble on this Weapon X is not perfect. Um, here, let me just show the, show Darren that yep. on camera. Selena, if you could that's the only issue. Real quick, it's not that big a deal. No, it still displays well. I Darren, just, I, I love being... I just want to show you that lower corner where it says the Toy Biz logo. It's just a little bit... The bubble's coming off the card a little bit there, that's all. It's really not a deal. It's not a deal breaker in my opinion, especially not for the great deal you just got. Um, I'm going to throw them all in the pile here. Kevin wants to know if he's missed any translution figures. Uh, the only figures you missed that yes. might be translucent... Iceman. 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 He probably has him, though. Here, this is the rest. Is Iceman still or is he still around here somewhere? Um, Mark was confused. So sad when Wolverine and Professor X died in the movie Logan. Spoilers. So, uh, Rock, so was I. Uh, what a fantastic movie. What a movie. great movie. I mean, it wasn't Damn it, just, I want the Wolverines. I'll it have to revisit good, next payday. Those are all the mixes. Oh, here's Iceman. Kevin, just for you, I'm going to revisit. I think we had 10 bucks. That's the last Iceman, right? Because Kevin, Kevin is Kevin might VIP. have that. Kevin might, but you know what? If he doesn't. Um, does this go with that Wolverine lot? Yeah. Ooh, Sorry. Uh, Iceman, translucent Iceman. Kev, we've got, a, is he 10 bucks? Yeah. We've got a $10 translucent Iceman. He's the uh, translucent blue version that you can put in your freezer. Um, if you don't have him already, you could scoop him up. And I think we also had the Phoenix, but she wasn't fully translucent. No, and the same um, storm. She you can go back to camera one. Um, Kev, we also had a Phoenix. She has the translucent hair and eyes, but not her whole body. Right. Um, let us know if you're into Iceman. If not, that's that's cool. But Phoenix we, is also ten bucks. We can show her to you. Uh, mm, mm, mm. There's a pile of her. That's a lot, though. I don't want to take it out of the lot. There's one right in front of you. Oh yeah, just her hair is translucent, and it lights up. But Iceman's completely translucent. Yeah, Iceman's actually let us know. fully translucent. Kevin, uh, let us know here or in the VIP group that you are a member of. Uh, and if you're not a VIP, check it out. Just take a look at the link after the stream. Um, there's always fun stuff happening. We're always showing off stuff. Um, that is a really good. That is a really good ice man. What do we got here? We've got Storm, Sunfire, and Phoenix. Kevin's claiming Ice Man passing on Phoenix unless purple. No, she's not purple. <laughs> that's an interesting. That's an interesting question. All right, so Kevin wants Ice Man. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Kev. One of your fellow VIPs actually looked out for you in the group. I think yeah, it was Tiffany. Yeah, tried to tag you. Which is cool. Um, we've got Sunfire. Do you want to do these? Yeah. White Storm looking cool. Another Phoenix. Oh, it's on a different card. It's on a different card, and she has a different Here, I'll just put her. A different accessory. I think this is the export as well you were about to work on. Uh, Chris, how are we making out for with vendors for the big event? Looking forward to rocking opening day. Um, Chris, we're a little more than half full, um, full of, with vendors at this location. Um, we already have, I think, 20 or so vendors, maybe a little less, uh, booked down at um, Shoreline Vintage, which is Farpoint 2 location. 
Um, we are going a little lighter on vendors this year just because of COVID. We want to make sure everybody's comfortable. Um, so, like, we usually do 80 or 90. Now we're probably going to have... 50. Here we're probably going to have 50. Yep. Um, and then whatever we can fit down at Shoreline as well. Um, but we want to make sure that everybody who's here is comfortable and feels safe, especially with the Delta Yeah, it's always way too there. packed here anyway. We'll um, still have as much people. Um, yeah. So we're excited about it, Chris. And, yeah. uh, you know... Um, we have a big announcement. We have hopefully, a big announcement. Yeah, about a food truck. Coming Not hopefully, up it's happening soon. now. I mean, he's you know. I, I'm just. I can't. You're wait here to hear first. Yeah, I can't wait to announce that. I can't Chris, wait to announce so what it is know. and all that stuff, though. But uh, yeah, will, will yeah. that food truck by any chance have macaroni and cheese on it? Uh, <laughs> if I know Chris Wilde, that food truck <laughs> that will food have truck macaroni take, and cheese. Is that food truck taking requests? You uh, uh, <laughs> probably will take requests. I'm sure. Uh, the food truck also should get here early. While the vendors are setting up, because probably if the food truck wants to make some breakfast, we'll make some money on the vendors early. Setting up is coming to work. Yes. Yeah. Um, all right, so what do we got here? Uh, Ready to switch. Who's that? Yeah. We have, oh, uh, Freddie, we always have a food truck, but this year we have a very special one in mind. This is, this is Sunfire from the Mutant Genesis series. Sunfire. I don't know what his deal is, but he's awesome. Uh, I want to read the back of his card. A grilled mac and cheese sandwich. Oh my god, oh my uh, Casper! God. Oh I don't god. even know if that's a thing. The champion of Japan, the solar powered. You can go to camera one. Thank you. The champion of Japan, the solar powered mutant known as Sunfire TM, considers himself a modern day samurai and will do nothing to betray his code of personal honor. Possessing the power to fly and to generate intensely hot flaming plasma. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> How does he generate it? Uh, where does it come out of? Power of the sun. <laughs> so, I mean, like, where does it... Who's fin Finnell? That, that is um, Tiffany. Oh, she's so excited um, for the weekend. So are we, Tiffany. Possessing the power to fly and generate intensely half-flaming plasma. Phrasing, Sunfire seeks out the enemies of his nation, and they, be they mutant or not, and turns on the heat. Ten bucks for Sunfire. Ten bucks for Sunfire with a lot of friction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we have White Storm. Pure lightning. Pure energy, yeah. Um, White Storm. White Storm. Which is really the classic. Ten bucks for White it Storm It actually says well. classics right on the side. Um, all right, and now I have a lot of some X-Force guys. I'm not sure what's going on here. Are these baddies? Yeah, let's do a... Um, you want to do a lot of free? Or? Well, so let's see all the figures are over there on the, on the yes. thing. Yes. Haggis. So you can go to camera, uh, camera one. Oh. Let's start getting Haggis. Them. Oh, Rocky. Oh. Rocky. Actually... Food truck requests. <laughs> Uh, George Scully claiming storm. What Italian wants haggis? No Italian wants haggis. Stop, ice. Rocky. Do we have another storm or no? We do. There's one right here. Can I take that? Yeah. All right. We've gotten two claims. Two claims. George Scully and Christina Roberts. Christina, George, we got you both. We have multiple storms. There's a storm front coming. It's a perfect storm. There's a storm front coming. All right. I'm not going to sing, I promise. Is Lucy watching? <laughs> I hope so after the off color humor. is Lucy watching what am I grabbing from this aisle just hand me them all I didn't we got some one. baddies that's a huge lot it's, I can't oh now knowing what I know now um, the guy who claimed this. the uh, who was that um Weapon Darren? X somebody oh, wait, no. claimed the Weapon X Joe Triola we have one for him so okay, we're good okay great Joey we got you Joey alright what am I where what what is it's a pile you told me to grab <laughs> Your chair's about to the place now. That's not enough room. Just move the paper. And my stupid phone. Oh. Yeah, yeah, watch out for... Sorry about that, guys. This whole thing is going to fall. Hi, Lucy! Hey, hey, Everybody! Can you put your hand up here? Everybody Thank say you. hi to Lucy. Lucy the Lucy. star. Lucy the star, Roberts. The star of our commercial. A Lucy Roberts. Wonder Didn't we have Senyaka somewhere else? We did. Put that with Senyaka somewhere else. No. Dead air, dead air. Somebody say something. So we're talking, we're hanging, we're walking, we're banging, we're doing all that. I don't know. What is happening right now? Am I putting these guys up here? I'm doing happening? a bad guy a lot first. Everybody is saying hi to Lucy. I can now no longer reach the spinner, just so you know. I can't. I have T-Rex arms. I can't reach them anymore. <laughs> Anybody interested in a bad guy a lot? I'm interested in a bad guy a lot. I don't think that's what you meant. Well, you can spin. We'll, we'll start doing I some of them. I can't spin. I literally can't reach it. All right. Camera okay. two. I got it. I got it. Okay. Camera two. Saber tooth. Little, Saber tooth. He's a little crooked. Now this um, is a lot, right? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I'm doing singles first. All right, all right, all right. So Saber tooth is how much? Um, that's a great version of Saber. Uh, I don't know, ten bucks. Ten so. bucks on Saber tooth. Everyone is saying hi to Lucy. That is awesome. She said hi, guys. 
Freddy Claim and Sabretooth. Alright. Justin, you got that or you want to give me the list? Oh god. Oh jeez. We're a point behind the scenes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was here. This is Freddy's Sabretooth. Any chance There's we have a second? Really yeah, oh, it was going to be in a lot. Okay. What you guys are seeing on camera is not doing this experience justice. This is Freddy playing table Yes, there's a lot of figures all over this room. Like it's oh, it's they're everywhere, guys. They're literally everywhere. So we do not have a second loose saber tooth. Not at okay. the moment, no. Sorry, Alex, we do not. Put that up there. Put that up there. Gotcha. Ugh, I stand can't, can't reach. Ugh. Ready to switch it or not? Uh, I guess so. Who is this? Omega, Omega, Omega Red. Oh, don't do that. You make me so sick. Omega Man? Omega Red? Omega Red. <laughs> Omega Red? Ten, ten bucks. Ten bucks on Omega Red? Somehow Alex will survive. Alex, I, I, as long as you're sure. He doesn't seem crushed. Freddy claimed Omega Red. Freddy is on it. Practically before we even figured out who he was. You can go back to camera one now. Freddy is this week's Alicia with a super fast internet. Oh, record. where is Alicia? She might not be into this. But she's not hanging. I wish she was here talking yeah, to us. listen. She has a, her own life. She doesn't have to be here every week. All right. What is this? <laughs> that is Sunfire still. Switch. All right. He didn't sell. He didn't uh, sell. So Sunfire's... Oh, hold on. Okay. We got, I think we got one. Eight bucks for Sunfire. I'm going to switch Since he's sitting there. Yeah, he's just sitting here. Eight bucks on Sunfire, if anybody wants Sunfire. He's a samurai. He's a... Oh, I'm in the no, samurai. stop doing your Larry Hama impression. That's not Larry Hama. <laughs> Whenever we talk about Larry... Best part of the G.I. Joe movie himself. was Larry walking in the rain. Yes. It was the only part I bought. <laughs> it was the only believable part. the only believable part. part was Larry walking in the rain. <laughs> my favorite part was the fact that they all brought knives. You didn't watch it. I know. Well, my favorite part really was that I didn't watch it. But my second favorite part was that they all brought their samurai swords... To a gunfight, dude. They were literally gun runners, <laughs> and they wouldn't <laughs> shoot. They wouldn't use the guns to to kill people they wanted to kill. They were literally running guns. I got nothing. Uh, slayback, ten bucks. That's Sunfire again. There you go. Slayback. Slayback. I don't yeah. understand that name at all. Slayback. He, he drives a sleigh. Justin spilling his pickle juice. The highlight of the movie was Justin spilling that pickle is, juice. That, yes, anybody who was watching me uh, watch the movie, uh, I spilled pickle juice all over my leg right in the beginning, and it turns out that was the high point of my night. Yeah, Alex is right. If you use the guns, you have to mark them down. It's like a car. If you drive a new car, it's not new anymore. Uh, here's a great figure, camera two. <laughs> Pyro, 12 bucks. Ooh, That's a Pyro. great figure. I dated that guy, too. I know it says X Force, but to me, he's he's an X X Man bad guy. But Pyro's twelve bucks. Uh, it's the only one I have singly, guys. Um, there's going to be one in a lot coming up. Um, go to camera one. Let me read his back. When he discovered his mutant ability to control and shape flame, Saint John Aldice Aldice Saint John. All right, that's a cool name. Matthew decided Pyro. decided to put it to Thank use. You, Matt. As a super criminal, adopting the name and costume of Pyro, he joined the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants and now uses his pyrotechnic talent to the detriment of all mankind. Camera two. All mankind, not just the X. Mr. Sinister, ten bucks. I have three of them. I definitely dated this guy, Mr. Sinister. Look at those boots. X in the blister packaging on Sunfire. Nice little hidden touch. Oh, oh yeah, at... it's in the front. It just goes over the whole front. It's like an X. Oh, yeah. Oh, friend. Yeah, that's really cool. I wonder if the other ones have that. Don't know. All right, Mr. Sinister's how much? Ten bucks. Ah, ten bucks on Mr. Sinister as I yawn directly into the microphone. Um, it's been a long weekend. It's been a long month. It's been a long it's been year a and a half. It's been a long while. <sighs> Getting from there to here. Okay. All right, no Mr. Sinister, huh? No. Um, <laughs> Extreme from the X Force. Oh my God! So Extreme, ten bucks. This guy looks exactly like Nord from Waterworld. In May, he, they may have even based him on the actual actor. It looks exactly like the guy. I think I went to high school with the guy with that hair. <laughs> Pyro first met him dumping an ungodly amount of quarters into the X Men arcade. Totally. All right, Slane, so you can go back to camera one. Nobody's interested. Axe attack. Let me read his blurb. I want to read a blurb. I like reading blurbs. It's like my new thing. It's my mutant power. All right, well, she reads a bur burb. Adam X, the man known as Extreme, knows little of his own past or history. What he does know is that he is a supremely skilled warrior with a disturbing mutant ability to ignite the electrolytes in his enemy's bloodstream. That's a little bit weird. 
<laughs> Boy, they were struggling at the end there. Now huh? he wants... Is this Chris Claremont? Like, just <laughs> no. at the bo- at the end of it, just like... No, he from his couch, like, ah, uh, he ignites electrolytes. Uh, now he wanders the globe, searching for the secrets of his mysterious past and lending his skills to any cause he deems worthy. So he makes his, he, he makes the, his, his, his rivals drink tons of Gatorade first. <laughs> Let me offer you a drink. <laughs> But he still has an axe. For some reason, he right. needs an axe. What's, can, his, what's his name? He can explode your Who blood, he? but he needs an axe. Yes, because he's Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Dual fisting axes who can also ex- make your blood explode. And Slayback is also eight dollars. I don't... I don't understand anything. Hydrate or die. In this case, it's hydrate mm. and die. Very recently released that Extreme is yeah, another Yeah, how are electrolytes brother. flammable? They're, because I everyone... Uh, hold on, roll up. <laughs> he's, he's the, the water, water boy. boy. Every, can, you, can you scroll up? He's the water I boy. This. I love it. Because everyone is in that family. Yes. Oh, the Summers family is like the Skywalkers. I don't <laughs> even know Summers electrolytes were, were flammable. flammable. Rocky, something. I don't think that they are, yeah. but... In... I... Someone is texting you to let you know. What do we got? We have... Name on a slayback from Nick Rich. Right. Thank we you, We have Nick. multiple slaybacks, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> just in case other folks need them. In case there's a run on slayback. There's slaybacks. a rush on slayback. A product of the Canadian Weapon X program that produced both Wolverine and Deadpool, Slayback was given the power to distend his limbs into dangerous techno-organic weaponry. I got a techno-organic limb for you. As well as phenomenal healing abilities. Often believed dead, even the cold succor, succor or sucker? Sucker. Sucor. Of the grave itself has not been enough to keep down Slayback's monstrous appetite for destruction once and for all. Keith, that is my great text code. It's better than the movie. Appetite for Destruction. Maybe. Wasn't that a Guns N' Roses album? It was. Does this guy listen to Guns N' Roses? He, he does. He looks like the Iron Maiden guy. Looks like Eddie. All right. Eddie Baby. Um, I still have Extreme in my hand. But uh, well, he didn't sell for eight dollars. He didn't. So where do I put him? I have too many piles. Um, put it behind you and stuff. Didn't sell. Oh, I'll put him right here. <laughs> Just too many. Times. All right. Now we have a very cool bad right. guy lot. Mr. Sinister didn't sell. No, ten bucks, Mr. Sinister. I'm surprised. And Sunfire the. Space Samurai. His hair is pretty cool. All it's right. Got quite a bit of hair there. So we have. You ready? We're gonna do camera two. I'm gonna do that thing where she spins. I can't reach. <laughs> I have T Rex arms over here. I can't reach. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna try Shoot spinning because that's a neat trick. All right. We have got camera ready? two. Ready? This is gonna be a lot, folks. We have got Omega Red. You should try spinning. We have got. Again, this is a lot. Mr. Sinister also it's in the such lot. A neat trick. We have Slayback in the lot. We should do the lot first. We have got we have got we have got Pyro. What's a Branch Brook tag? It's a store. I guess a store that Mark recognizes. Branch Brook is a store. Just when I got this. We have got Sabretooth in the lot. We have got Apocalypse. You pucker your lips like this. I think that's it. We've got Apocalypse. So to recap, we have Apocalypse. We have Sabretooth. You can go back to camera, whatever this isn't. Um, we have got Pyro. We have got Slayback. That's four. We also have Mr. Sinister and Omega Red. This is a six villain lot. 50 bucks. 50 bucks on your six villain lot. And free of charge, we have Branch Brook. We have Toy Works. We have Bradley's tags on these these bad boys. Um, very cool vintage tags. I'm a sucker for the vintage tags. Um, they sold pools with a small toy section in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Oh, we've been there. Is that, are they still open? Have we been there? We've been there. We went to a store that sold pools and had toys. Uh-huh. They had weird stuff. They had Star Wars when we went there. They had Star Wars there. Maybe I should turn my ring around. You probably should, but I didn't want to say it repeatedly. Since once, 1938. Once why is Frank texting you? Does he not realize? I guarantee I know what his text is. Are you live? Actually, Where's let me read Frank's screen? text. I, I want them to read it because I want. I, can, is there a way they could see that on camera too? I'm like, not sure what he means. I like you hang up on me more than my wife. That's funny. All right, so this. Well, oh, his is, he dude his he has such bad uh, he has such bad that phone Frank's, things. That is he Frank's hangs up. text. Hey, if you guys are done the shower, give me a call. I think he means the show. He must mean the show. Autocorrect will do you dirty. I mean, uh, no, that's just Frank. Autocorrect does me a mischief 
<laughs> you can go back Maybe to Hamilton. <laughs> he must mean the show. We're not done. He must mean the we show. We live. We live, Frank. You should call him live and put him on. Are we live in the shower. <laughs> Frank wants the bad guy a lot. We are not live in the shower. Um, clothes. I used to shop there all the time. So this is a six villain lot for 50, 50 bucks. bucks. Nobody um, wants it? Oh, well. Come on. 50 bucks, guys? Come oh, well. on. 50 bucks? Cool. 50 bucks. This is something cool. 50 bucks? Cool. Am I just putting this to the side? Yep. All right. Well, I can't put it there because it'll be in front of camera, too. So I'm not Right here. All right. Wait. One. There's just a lot of things That's here. Two. Live in the shower, only fans. Uh, you know what? You know what? Let's do, let's do these fingers. If that. nobody wants this, this is a lot, we're going to break it down singly. So yeah, the we last chance. these guys single? Nobody wanted them when they were no. single. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we already did them. Right. I'm trying to think the only person we didn't do. Figures. We didn't do Apocalypse. Apocalypse is the only one we didn't do. Okay. Do you have any Juggernaut figures? Uh, not that I found yet. All of these guys except for Apocalypse we did singly and no one was interested. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely not the production manager for the shower stream. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Doug is late to the party. Super cool. I oh, believe... it's got the pin in there? I love these. Yeah. This is not going to fit. They came out during the Spider-Man era because they all, the Spider-Man came out. Oh, the this pin. is so cool. It is very cool. This is not going to fit on camera too. Yeah, it well, is. kind of will. That's just cool to display. I mean, the art together. X-Men and Spider-Man. Let me see if I can make it fit a little better. Why in particular would those two be paired together? Or did it, was it just kind of random? It was probably random. Probably pretty random. But These like, are Walmart they're both, exclusives. They're both like smart guys. Um, it's a Walmart exclusive Beast versus Spider-Man. Were they fighting? Is that why it's versus? I don't know. So you could go to camera one. Um, they, might, they might have been in a Marvel team-up comic together. Oh, that they that probably were. But then again, weren't those carded, carded sets branded Marvel Team Up? They were. Like yes. I know we had a yeah. Human Torch Iron Man one, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure they were actually branded in that manner. These are actually pretty rare. They're really cool. Are you sure you want to sell them on the stream? As far as Walmart exclusives, well, I'm not going <laughs> to give them away. But... What is coming out of Spider Man's hand? Let's go back to camera two and see what is coming out of Spider Man's hand. It's it like a, is. A web with it a, is a web. A, some sort of webbed wand with like a. No, it's here. Let me. Let looks me like a web in. mace or something. So it is. His hand is actually back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like like he's doing the web, and it's coming out of like his wrist, yeah. and it's the web coming out of his wrist. What's the like ball niblet or whatever down down right below it? Is that attached to it? No, it's All right. part of his like webbing. You guys ready for this? This is uh this is a deal. Go Spider look him up. Camera, camera one. Go find one. one. There we go. A spider uh, spatula. 20 bucks each on these. 20 uh, bucks? Exactly. Wait, how much is it going to cost to the ship? They're pretty big. Uh, Should I do 25? Well, you just we already got, got a claim, claim from someone who doesn't have to. On 20, so. All right. It's fine. Most you Listen, it's fine. Who we get a claim from? Did we hear Fred. a ding? Or? We didn't hear a ding, but no, she did we say were, it. We were debating. <laughs> All right, so Freddy's claiming the beast 20 bucks. versus Spidey. We have six of them. Well, okay, listen, we I mean, have this second, one. We have a second well, claim. Are they the same? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, and Andrew's also a pickup, so so far we're here. Ding, because the claim came in right at the second where you were trying to decide so whether far, you wanted to take back that price or not. So you can't really take back a price once it's been stated. It's tough to yeah. hear. <laughs> Third claim, Nick Rich, Spider-Man. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> there you go. Now we shipped to Nick, but Nick not only is he a VIP, but he also bought a bunch of other stuff, so we're fine. It's all good. Twenty, twenty, it is across the board. We are all good. Nice, and they fit in their little tubs perfectly. I think we have three left, but that's great for the new website. There's actually five. Oh, my God. <laughs> Six. They are great for the new website, and I'm really excited about the new website. Right now, oh, I'm shit. trying to settle on a theme for the website, and I don't want to do any more uploading a product until I get a, a theme that really, really, really works. Um, this week, I'll probably nail that in and just start loading Let's up more stuff. Let's try another lot. Okay. They don't seem to be doing terribly. Here, I'm just going to hand you the whole lot. All right, well, let me make some space. This is a lot of villains. I like so. I can hide behind the comments over here. It's like I have my own little hiding spot. All right. We're going to do another, we're going to do an X-Force lot to go with your X-Men. Oh, that's so cute. These are all X-Force guys. Who's next? Aww. My youngest is named Peter. Nope, named Parker, after Peter going? Parker. I'm going to keep it in Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Should I, I love when our kids... Um, get to play with the same stuff that we played with. I love when people buy stuff for their kids, you know. Well, that's cool. Check out. Yeah, I yeah. like his outfit. All right, let's put four guys up here and then we'll go around and then. 
There you go. All right, so here's an X-Force lot. We've got Kane, who has a very stylish jacket. I'm not sure what his deal is, but I'm really into it. Um, snapback living hand, too. We've got a snapback living hand. Do I need new glasses? Is that not what it says? No, that's exactly what it says. I don't know what the hell that means, but he has a snapback living hand as opposed to his dead hand, I guess. That's why I called attention. <laughs> we have Extreme, who we've talked about already. We have Sunspot. Super cool. It's the only Sunspot we have, I believe. Um, we have GW Bridge. And I've got to be honest, there's something really wacky with his card. His card, GW is in giant. Oh, they're all like that. GW is giant, and then Bridge is real tiny. That's weird. Um, all right, who else we got? G yeah, GW Bridge is George Washington Bridge. Yeah, his name all is right. George Washington Bridge, which is absolutely ridiculous. Does the Deadpool have a masked head? Uh, Mike, I'm almost positive no, he does. No, unmasked. Oh, it's unmasked, but he does have a he mask. He does come with a masked head, yes. yes. Next up is Grizzly. Um, second edition Cable. Um, not to be outdone, Richter. Is his last name Erectus? Uh, I know what you're going to say here. I know how you're going to say it, at least. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not, not least... Not last. Mike Alvin claimed Deadpool. He'd like a Deadpool. Mike, thank you. Um, and second to last but not least... Cannonball! Cannonball. Anyone who gets my reference gets a pat on the back. Thank you, Mike. And who is last? Last but not least... Warpath. Oh. How many figs is that? One, two, three, four, five, nine. Six, seven, nine figures. All right, camera one. Mike, thank you for your claim on Deadpool. We got you. Um, he's cool. He comes with a mask, but his act, he's unmasked, but you can put the mask on his. It's cool. Here's the deal of the day. The deal of the day? Yep, nine figs. Nine figs, all villains. We just went over. 60 bucks. 60 bucks, nine figs. All, they're all, all bad guys? Force. They're not bad guys. No, these are all X-Force guys. Okay, yep. I got my, my lots confused. Um, oh, Richter, this is clever. He has the power to generate earthquake-like vibrations. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Mark just said it, too. He has a winder in the back. Are you sure we want to sell this one? Maybe we should keep it. I got it. He's uh, on the Richter scale. Okay. That's well, no, nine guys for 60 bucks. That's he, a hell of a deal. But he has a special function. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> nine guys for 60 bucks. That's a crazy good deal, especially since one of them vibrates, which is really exciting. Um, his name's not Grizzly. It's Grizzly? Oh, I just can't read. It's Grizzly. <laughs> I thought it said Grizzly. I didn't get it. Um, anybody want a morph? Oh, God. Nobody wants a morph. It's crazy. I think we should just give a morph to everyone who bought something today. I'm kidding. We're not giving away morphs. Um, What's all left? Right. Well, there's stuff in tubs. There's... Uh, what time is it? Not that I'm, like, timing us, but... 6.50. It is. So we've been on for an hour and 50 minutes. What's that stack of guys right there? I wonder something, what that is. Something I have to get up to see. Nobody wants this nine figures for $60? I don't even want them. They belong to me. Uh, <laughs> Mark still has his. Richter. Richter. Richter Belmont. All right. All right, what's left? I'm going to say 40, 50 bucks for what? nine figures. That's ridiculous! All the figures are morphed. That's true. Yes. 50 bucks for nine figures. That's insane. Figures. That's ridiculous. Like, that's too low. If I, no one buys it, if no one buys it, then I don't know what we're doing wrong. Can we oh shit! Freddie claimed fifty lot. Freddie, are we gonna know Freddy. what's what? Because these are all just going in a pile. Are we gonna know what's what here? Because this is confusing. No, once I, when I do lots, I just write what's on the lots. No, we're not gonna know. So I mean, we haven't sold that many lots. <laughs> Can you just keep this separate I'll instead try. of throwing it in your pile? Yeah, we're gonna have to watch the stream. Oh god, kill me now. We'll figure it out. We'll be fine. Wouldn't be so bad if Walmart bag makes such a fuss on the yeah, sound. Yeah, I didn't really realize that we didn't we weren't writing down what was in the lots. I think we've only sold a lot or two. Yeah, I don't think we sold many lots. Okay, yeah. we'll figure it out. We're all good. Um, I'm sorry, I would have included this guy in the lot uh, if I had gotten to him, but I didn't see. So camera two. Here's another Sh X Force guy, Shatterstar, ten bucks. We can try spinning. Um, Freddie, if you want a shatter star, uh, so <laughs> he does. <laughs> uh, he does. But I'm going to say the lot's 55 then, and and it's 10 figs. All right. But shatter star is 10 for everybody else. Freddie bought that lot, and shatter star should have been in there. That's fair. That is more and than fair. And that's 55 bucks. Freddie, I'm giving you a shatter star. So you're saving be... five bucks because you bought that lot. Yeah, anybody else who wants a shatter star, at 10 bucks. Mark. He dies in Deadpool too. Yes, he does. He doesn't really do much. That's it's hilarious. Oh, 
he's not the Brad Pitt, is he? No, he's the Asian guy. I think he's Asian in it. I don't remember at all. You can go back to camera one, Selena. Um, we know what we're doing here. You want to like go backwards and like blow some out, or is this all going to be for the website? Uh, well, it doesn't have to be. I'd like to blow some out, and then we still have some of the website, and we still have some for the store, and we still have some for eBay, and we still have some for our other secret um, projects we're working on. All right. Well, I have. All right. I know guys that have tons of. Mojo is now eight dollars. All right. Well, let me get a mojo. Do we have a mojo here? Hold on. Yep. We have a mojo everywhere. We'll Probably not. With mojos. There's a huge pile of mojos. I know there is, but I, if there's one already here, I don't want to have to keep getting up every two seconds. It's like really annoying. Brad Pitt was the vanisher who actually teleports instead of turning invisible. Thank you. Thank Alex. Mojo. Oh, can you go to camera two? Actually, no, you don't have to go to camera two. There you go. Mojo's eight bucks. Eight bucks. Shipping him is in the cost that much. Huh? Tilt it a little bit. There's a glare. Wrong way. That's it. Anybody else want me to get while I'm standing here? Um. We can try spinning. Um. Okay, Casper's got a request. Any light up figs on bad cards? He's looking to open them and open up and hardwire them. No. So the association with Deadpool and food trucks is. There's something about him loving tacos. He loves chimichangas. That's his big thing. So in the taco comic, trucks yes. started being a thing. Taco trucks started being a thing with a theme, like a Deadpool type theme. Um, it's really cool that it was Hot Wheels Deadpool themed food truck in Walmart. Rocky, that's so many things together. In our Walmart? Oh, sorry, I missed Rocky's that. from Hamilton area, so it's probably the Hamilton Walmart. Right. Even so, I'm just assuming. I don't. We didn't come across a long shot. Mm -mm. I haven't come across one yet. Nope. Um, then there's just. Tubs full of guys. Like, know, anybody else like, need a war so star? <laughs> I don't. I mean, we could just keep going with all these tubs. I'm starting to get like. Yeah, I guess I'm it. I you wanna you it. wanna go back over what's up here? Maybe or no? Yeah, I think we're rocking. All right. I don't think I sold my hundred figures. I don't think you did either. Don't forget though that the VIPs aren't in here. We yeah, didn't we didn't write them down yet. So we'll. I'm probably gonna need your help separating. Okay. When we get to that. Yep. Um. Any loose figures? No loose figs. These are Nick. These are all this from a party collection. collection. Yeah, there's all, nothing loose in all this. All 133 tubs and boxes of figures were yeah. all. Sealed. But I gotta tell you, for eight bucks shipped, yeah. uh, you, you can't buy a new toy for that price. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> it, you know you can open them for that. I know people feel very bad about it. I do. Uh, random question: yeah. Ever come across eighteen toys? Yes, 18. Chris. Yeah, no. Um, we have a we have some that will be for sale once we open. We also have a really nice eighteen museum. I got a couple 18 boxes the other week, too. There is, uh, there's three and three quarter, 18... They're glued to them in the 80s. And then there's... Oh, Make excuse me. Going. Like, oh. five-inch... Uh, oh, pretty cool. there's X-Men everywhere. I can't move without smashing myself with an X-Man. It's really true. Like, I wish I could just pan the camera through this room. So you I mean, you, you anyway, could. Anyway, that was could. fun. Thank you. Oh, you're wearing an X-Men shirt. Let's you just go. noticed? After a two-hour stream, you just noticed I'm wearing yeah, my Wolverine shirt? I did. Just, and I even mentioned it. But that's just proof that you have you have man phones that you wear. No, you have that thing, uh, that ro rogue pa wife power thing. Um, we've reached the play with your hair. And a yawn portion of the program. I'm not playing with my hair. <laughs> I'm not playing with my hair. I'm noticing on camera you know, that it doesn't uh, look good. Your sister good. dinged. She did ding, and she's about to say. Jack would be claiming sinister. I just have to find one. Oh, he's right on top. Thank you, Jack. All right, thank you, Jack. Any light up storms and Phoenix left? Yes. Oh, this Mr. Sinister and, uh, is not... Do we have another one? It's not that good. The Tara one is weird. If there's any more Deadpool. Uh, yes, Tara, there is another... Uh, Tara... Yes, Tara and Rob, there is another Deadpool. Um, right on the top there. Um, I need to find a better Mr. Sinister for Jack, if I have one. That's a beautiful one. Perfect. Uh, we light up storms in Phoenix if they're banging around. All right. Justin, you do the Deadpool for Tara and Rob. I will take a look at light up storms Tara and Rob want a Deadpool? Um, they so asked if there were any left. What the pool we have left. So maybe we can put one up just so they can see. Light up Phoenix and Storm. Let's see. Where are we going to find What was I getting on these dead pools? 15. 15. Light up Phoenix. Let's see. Well, Freddy wants to know what the villain price was, the lot. Uh, here, put that on camera too for the Kimsies. The villain lot was six figures and was 50 bucks. That is, ooh, that is the Deadpool. Tara and Rob. He is 15 bucks. He has no mask on, but he does come with a mask, so you can stick it on. 
Mark, the... Uh, is that the, the only Deadpool? Vil- yes, that is the only Deadpool. Okay. Only version we have right now. So uh, do a day. Flame. The Kimsies would like a Deadpool. All right, you can put that underneath. I'm trying I to, but I don't want to be in your way. You got the Deadpool? Yeah, here's a, a lot of villains for... All right, and... Um, you know what, put, put a mojo in there, too. A light-up Phoenix and Wait, Storm no, 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 is the next thing I'm looking up. All right, this is our villain lot. It's a lot of seven, Mark. Uh, you asked, so it's a lot Did of seven for 50. Uh, Freddy asked. Or Freddy, Freddy asked, I'm sorry. It's a lot of seven for 50, so it's Mojo. Uh, We've got Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister, We've Mojo. Got Mojo. Freddy said, I'll do that if I can then unclaim Omega Red and Sabretooth that I picked. Yeah, that makes sense. So, villain lot of unclaim. Oh. seven. Unclaim freight. Freddy. Unclaim. So he's, what, what do I bring for that? Where is, uh, what did he claim? He, Sabretooth, right? So you can go back to camera one. Sabretooth and no Omega, Omega Red. Red. Which means we have an Omega Red and a Sabretooth open, if anybody wants them, ten apiece. Not piece. open, you mean available. Yeah, here, take, give me All that right. Sabretooth. Alright, Alex would now like the now available Sabretooth. Give me that Sabretooth. <laughs> you, you... We're getting stupid. Here, that's fine. Here, keep it with that. <laughs> There's so many Alex movies. wants the... Oh, you wanted to take it out. I'm not going to, though, since Alex claimed Got it. Alex wants what now? Alex would like the saber tooth. And the omega red? No, just, just the saber, saber tooth. tooth. <laughs> so we have an omega red for ten bucks left. Yes. Um. Somebody asked about no, light up figures. Yeah, that was um. And that was Casper. And Tiffany would like a Deadpool, I believe. Yeah, I was. Another saying, Deadpool. I'm just trying. To, yeah, I'm just trying. To, we should go one at a time with these. Yes. Freddy it did, but that's okay. Tiffany, uh, what was Tiffany's last name? P. You need to put P. All right, those are light up guys. All right, whoever was asking about the light up guys, I forget who. That's Casper. Casper, we've got. Oh, he asked for a Phoenix and a Storm. Do we have any storms? Light up storms and Phoenix left. Sure, we do. Uh. Um, she probably ended up in the um. Light up. So there's two versions of of even though they're I'm the just same. Sure, they both light up. Yep. Ready for number two. One has like a sure. weapon. Casper, we've got this phoenix on a small card. Her, it's just her hair that lights up? Yes, yeah, her hair and her eyes. Okay. And we have this phoenix on a bigger card. They're the same mold, it looks like It to just me. looks like she comes with like some sort of... She comes with like a weird translucent gun or something. I'm not sure, a bigger or a card. stand or something. Um, did you get Tiffany's Deadpool? I did. Tiffany, we got your Deadpool, you're good. Uh, and there's got to be a storm in the unsold pile okay. somewhere. Okay, um, you can go back to camera one while I dig around for storm. Uh, she's not the light-up storm. Oh, no, she is. Power Glow. Yeah. Yep, right here. And then this is a light-up storm. I think just her chest lights up. Yes, it's just her chest. And you can go to camera two. There you go. And that is the Power Glow light-up storm. And she's also, she was 10, right? Yeah, we might have reduced her at some point. Let me say storm, silver. Yeah, 10. Okay. There's only one left. Silver, Power Glow storm is 10 bucks. And that was Casper who who was asking? Yeah. All right, Casper, you got your choice. Stormus is the last one. She's silver Mike, power. Fifty glow. per bar. Hey, Mike, we we appreciate that. Large Phoenix and Storm. Is Casper? Yeah. yeah. All right, and that's Large Phoenix. Large Phoenix. All right, so you can be on camera one. Dead air, dead air. What was that? Yeah. Ten bucks. The Large Phoenix. Yeah. And then. All right. Then Storm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Shoot. And anybody want a shatter star for eight bucks? We have a bunch of them. <laughs> Blow them out. Uh, here. Is that Apocalypse guy? Did you ever do him? A while back? Apocalypse came with the uh, villain lot. Yeah, he was the one that you said you don't. He was the only one we hadn't done individually. Yeah, and he was in the All villain right. lot. And camera two. Shatter star eight bucks. Shatter star is eight. I bucks. love this ru- rush at the end. Uh, there was no rush on morph though. There was no rush on morph. No, it's fine. All right. ATF with morph. You can go back sure to camera one. Obsessed with morph. It's cool because he has multiple heads and he can be anybody. He said X-Man. We are going to have a hell of a time separating all the stuff. If we just... You're going to know better than me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to say villains out of seven. You're going to know who came in the villains. We need to get bags and do it tonight while it's fresh. We have to go shopping. And eat dinner. And eat dinner. All right, we're going to call it. We had a lot of fun. Thank you for hanging with the X-Men. I don't know. Next week, we'll, we'll let you vote again. Yes, we'll let our VIPs vote again. If you it'll be, a VIP, um, it's it'll right be, here. uh, we had said, I think I promised Mark Star Trek next week, but that doesn't, I mean, we could change our mind, I guess. Well, well, we could flip-flop. We could do Star Trek and then come back to... You know what? We'll do know. Star Trek next week because because that was the other 
thing, and then we'll do uh, Marvel because then we have we can do all Iron Man, stuff. Spider Man, Man Fantastic Man. Four, yeah. or we could just Star keep it. Park. We could just keep it um, specific and then just do Fantastic Four. I don't Maybe know if there's enough. For Star Trek I like I like it being a little more. Star blah. Trek next week. Our VIPs have spoken. Yes, our VIPs have spoken. Um, next week if you're not a VIP and you think that you should be check out the link right here above Justin's head patreon.com slash farpoint toys for five bucks a month you can be part of an amazing absolutely awesome community or for of people. 25 bucks a month you get to have a free claim sale which is next Saturday which oh fuck yeah which we it's do it's gonna be a lot of free oh, X-Men there's my F-Men. there's gonna <laughs> be your second oh, there's gonna be morphs for everyone <laughs> And next Everybody week's claim gets sale. a free morph. Uh, uh, it's not a claim sale. It's Thunderdome. No, it's yeah. free. What's really cool about it is that for t- your twenty five dollar pledge per month, you get pledge to um, you get to be part of our VIP group here on Facebook. But you also get to be part of that free claim sale, and everything is free. Casper, which is awesome. TNG. Uh, Casper, you need to save up now. Dude, this team, this claim. <laughs> I wanted to keep. There's almost a master collection of. Uh, TNG, Voyager, so DS9. There's 133 tubs of all assorted toys. I think like 25 or 30 of them are X Men. I think 40. Said the Thunderdome, the F-bombs are I free. think 40 or 45 of them are just Star Trek. Yeah. It's going to be magnificent. It is going to be I magnificent. I can't wait. It's going to be really fun. Um, yeah. You're I don't know what else to say. The fleet. You are the finest crew in the fleet. So, guess what they sell? Who? whoever people that make things and sell them okay um you can now get i just found this out and i i need to save up my money because i want one you can get a replica of picard's resican flute from the inner light oh, you shared the link with me and it's like 300 dollars or something oh, God. but i need it because i need it so i can learn how to play the song on the flute his little song all right i'm dying it comes with a box we're and gonna everything. go eat dinner and go shopping we are are you coming yeah all right you don't sound so happy you don't have to <laughs> Next time you went shopping, you didn't get anything. So I need That's to not to okay. Sure. It's not my fault. First of all, you're lying. Secondly, it's not my fault. Target? Okay. I don't like going to Walmart. I know that there's not really as much of a of a, of a COVID thing happening, because especially with us being vaccinated. But Walmart still... I don't know how Walmarts are wherever you live out there in TV land, but our Walmart is gross and scary. On a good day. On a good before day. Before COVID. Yeah, before COVID. So I do not necessarily like going there. So we've been going to Target because even though it's basically the same crap, it's slightly more expensive and it seems nicer. It's cleaner. Somebody messaged me. Yeah. I don't know whose phone number this is, and it says, "You see my claim." At six forty one. Whose number is this? I don't know. Call them right. Call them right now on the stream. You see my claim. Hold Let's on, I'm gonna scroll text. Back and see who claims who this? Oh who yeah, this? yeah, yeah. Scroll back and see if you can see it. Who has my phone number? I don't know. Lenny. It might have been Lenny. Who dis? Who dis? New number who dis? Um, yeah, so I don't like going to Walmart. I prefer to go to Target, but Target does not have a full selection of grocery items. And Justin specifically asked for, uh, what did you ask for? I don't know. I don't even remember what he asked for, but like they only had two, so I got two. And he's like, why did you only get two of this? Steak. Yeah. <laughs> Mark said, I know you're Walmart. Go to Target. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't, you, Mark. they don't have the best selection of stuff, but it's just such a much better environment and atmosphere. And I feel better in there. So I would rather go to Target and not get you 77 steaks or whatever um, at Acme. Mark, I am the kind of person that has no time. And so if I'm going to go shopping, I want to go to, like, one place. If I'm feeling really extra, I'll go two places. Um, but I really only go to one place. So if I can't go there and get literally everything on my list, whether it's car a, parts a or... notebook, a car yeah. part, a WD-40, uh, <laughs> baby wipes... A steak. If I can't get it, a pair of pants. If I can't get it all in one place, yeah. I don't want to go there. All right, uh, we will see. Is this Saturday Thunderdome? This Saturday is Thunderdome. For those of you wow. who are, it's more time. Upper level VIPs. If you're not a VIP, you still have a chance. You have six days from today to join the VIP group to be part of the giant, amazing, awesome, free. And it's like this, but more fun. Because like we're not stressing about like pricing things. And it's just like, we just we only stress about making sure there's enough cool stuff for our good people who deserve awesome things. Um, that's yeah. it. We that's out. That's it. We're out. Don't forget, don't forget that you have the new end screen you can try. I, my mouse has been hovered over it for the last couple minutes. All right. Stop talking and say goodbye Guys, to people. Guys, we had a blast. Thanks for joining us yes. with the X-Men. We'll see the VIPs on and you'll be getting, Saturday. And you'll be getting your invoices 
in the next few hours after we eat and we'll go shopping. We'll see the rest of you on Sunday. We might do a giveaway this week to get yes. this shared. We need more hype. people to uh, join. I want hype. Uh, we want hype. We want hype. Okay. All right. Say goodbye. Nice. Bye, nice people.